Good evening and welcome to Dysylvania. We are a bunch of lovable geeks who every Sunday meet to play Dungeons and Dragons and speak very beautiful vampire in English. Vampire in English. <laughs> I am Count Bear, your DM in Iceras, the fantasy realm where the gods walk among the same land as the mortals, which find themselves at the turn of an era. Stick around to take part in this collaborative storytelling experience between myself and the seven brave adventurers whose actions and roll of the dice will uh, shift the tide of the narrative. Let's introduce these uh, beautiful puppeteers, shall we? We have... Yo, I'm Radish, professional programmer and awful voice actor. Alex, a copywriter with a haircut. I am Carla. I am uh, art director by uh, day and uh, D and D addict by night. And I really love dragons, and I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm um, always ready to geek out and ready to craft their games. I'm Karina. I'm an architect and interior designer, and I'm a natural twenty. Therefore, Carla spare parts. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rooks. I'm a drummer, an English translator, and a fun enthusiast. Hi, I'm Lynn. I'm a voice actor by day and a die caster by night. Well, uh, one quick announcement we have before we start this show. So, Rooks, please. Thank you, Count. So, if all of this sounds great to you, it's because of our friends at Zito, the professional audio shop with over 15 years of experience, consulting anyone from big businesses to bedroom DJs to emerging streamers as ourselves. So remember to visit zidoshop.ro for all of your needs for audio equipment and instruments. This is also our first choice for this stream. Ah. Cool. And with that, with that out of the way, let us go and roll into Dysylvania's first adventure in Iceras. <laughs> What's the thirsty? What's the She says D she said D and D and D. And dragons! And dicks! Dungeons and dragons and the thirsty! I said D and 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 ducks. Maybe we'll make anything. Maybe we'll make Dungeons and dragons and ducks. Dungeons and dragons and ducks. 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 And this uh, wondrous planet is filled with magic and mysteries wherever you may look. One such peculiar place, it's the isolated continent of Isera, where our story will unfold. Here, uh, the land and its people have grown and prospered under the watchful eyes of the pantheon of virtue, living gods that walk amongst the same land as the mortals that inhabit this lush and diverse territory. This island is isolated from the rest of the continent through the Tempest Fence, a magical ravaging wild storm that destroys everything and anyone who tries passing through it. In the beginning, the people grew all in um, harmony and uh, steadily developed rich and social cultural uh, societies across the land under the United Alequinjan government. What uh, followed were a series of events that led to further division of this continent, such as the discovery of Vailithia or the fall of Keneka. But now it is the 41st of Suntouched, year 1423, and the land finds itself in a bit of a turmoil. The folks start having doubts about the sanctity of this place ever since the eruption of ages happened. And as such, the gods have grown uneasy. 
things don't look too bright on a much smaller scale either as uh, on one hand we have political tensions that grow between the kingdom of Alequentia and uh, no prea technocracy regarding the standardization of uh, Velithium, this very rare magical uh, mineral that is infused with raw powers. And on the other hand, we have the now united clans of Dragonborn who now uh, follow one banner only. The, this definitely is a sign of ill hope. But now we do zoom in a little bit and um, we do um, find ourselves in the western part of the continent uh, more precisely in uh, the lands of the holy gazia theocracy which also hosts this wondrous uh, forest to the north the bloomset forest and in here we see um, four adventurers who are about to embark on a uh, odyssey, so to say, that uh, even they are not aware of. And we, as we track through this uh, cold night with uh, small winds picking up here and there, the, the sound of wildlife surrounding you and uh, giving you this, uh, you know, almost uh, relaxed feel, oh. though um, you do not feel as such as um, you know you're on a path to... <laughs> on a path to, you know, um, show the goodness that you all have. And we do spot uh, first a um, figure that uh, I, although small in size, seems to be riding a uh, blue wolf. Very interesting. And, uh, well, um, if you would like to describe your uh, character, Karina. Okay. She, because it's a her, has a pair of big watery eyes, deep blue in color. She has chestnut hair loosely tied in a fish tail. She has chubby cheeks, rosy pale skin, and a button nose covered with a few lost freckles here and there. And on top of her soft features and baby face, she's also adorable size because she's only 80, uh, no, no, 83 centimeters tall. That's okay, yeah, I did the conversion right. And um, she has this oversized maroon coat that is neatly um, fastened with a skinny leather belt wrapped around her tiny waist multiple times. And if you look closely on her left hip, you can see some sort of a lump in her maroon coat. Cool. Next to you, walking alongside, we also have uh, a gentleman that uh, walks uh, more mysteriously. Uh, what you see is a man, human, in his late 30s, uh, long hair, black, green eyes, emerald, uh, a leather trench coat that's over a black plated armor, breastplate, and he's carrying a long sword that looks like it has um, foresty elements embedded in it. And also he has a... Uh, an amulet that has a lock of hair on it. Very nice. And as you're um, dredging through this uh, forest, um, ahead of you going scouting, you can barely keep up as uh, there is this uh, uh, individual, yes, the, the wolf, as it goes through. It tries to keep up pace with... Uh, with... <laughs> Wait, so what you see is a big wolf. It's almost large in size and it has this big mane of white hair but with a slight, you know, hue of a blue color and it has this blue nose and it has one, one deep blue piercing eyes that, that looks 
vast into the woods and the other one is close like he, he looks like he's almost winking and he starts you know running with all his energy and he howls and this is the best day of my life <laughs> oh. seems that um Seems that um, um, wherever you're heading, uh, this wolf definitely feels the distance to its uh, uh, older. But uh, you have like quite a bit hard time to keep up with it. Slow so down, please. God. <laughs> Can you stop for a moment? Are yes. you okay? You don't look so okay. I'm just tired. You just look very tired. Oh my God. Doesn't he look tired? Do we know where we're going? Do we know where we're going? I think the wolf is following uh, its own judge. Oh, fuck. He starts running again. Catch up! Catch up, Draven! Fuck. And, um, you're uh, still heading full of purpose into that. that that direction and at some point uh, the wolf comes to a stop and it um, comes close almost uh, you know looking for attention sort of going round uh, another figure that uh, you spot so what you see in the distance is a humanoid figure uh, it's slender and gentle in, in terms of body shape it, and it, it almost resembles the body of a dancer it's about one and uh, one meter and 70 centimeters tall and they kind of hide behind a bush and they try to hide behind the bush and this is it then uh, first roll of the game roll me a stealth check let's jerk Please. the, the the uh, skull uh, dice. Uh, can we, can we notice her? Can we roll for that? Uh, sure. If, uh, roll perception to see if you spot. It's a stealth? Yes. Stealth. So it's a. Um, oh, damn. 18. 18. I don't have But um, the strong bond you have with your companions kind of knows that you're close by and he stops as uh, you. The the wolf stops and takes takes a, a sit. I think the wolf is tired. Oh. <sighs> he's not the only one. Oh, God. You look awful. I know. I feel like shit. You want some water? Yes. I give you my water. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little Thanks. bit, you know, because you're not adorable size, but. <sighs> And um, while you're hidden, also roll me a perception, please, as you are ahead scouting um, and such. Brace. <laughs> 20. Dirty 20. Okay. <laughs> Good rolls. No, so. it was an average roll. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my! Oh, <laughs> that flexi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so natural ones from here. Right? For you, <laughs> for you, it, um, your senses are definitely heightened since uh, again you're a peculiar creature, so to say, or um, as such. So uh, you do pick up once again on. Uh, a very small uh, shift in the air currents that hit you and uh, which is a bit warmer and uh, seems to be still going from further ahead you took a moment to readjust sort of your senses because you're following this trail initially it went cold for a second but then you, st you took your time to pick it up once again and it's still going so slightly I off where you initially thought but so they feel a breeze from up Yes. Different direction and this. A warmer one. They lift themselves and they start following the train. Okay, so still intentfully, purposefully. Uh, you just barely managed to take like five, ten 
five minutes, so to say, of just resting, and then immediately the wolf picks up again. <laughs> Takes you a little bit by surprise, you, <laughs> while I'm riding it. And... I almost <laughs> dropped my, my shutter wood lantern, it's the only thing I carry. Did I forgot to mention earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. Come on, at some point, <laughs> at some point um, while uh, you're continuing on the path, um, it's uh, it's quite nice because you don't have time to appreciate the beauty of this forest. But uh, in parts here and there, you start spotting either the luminous uh, fireflies that pop in, in here and there, or, or the occasional uh, glowing mushroom. But uh, you're in a hurry. <laughs> you're in a hurry. You don't really get too much time to spot it as uh, um, the wolf comes to a stop once again. As at this point, all all three of you um, do see a small, small, small uh, spark of light further in the distance. Not from a firefly or a glowing mushroom, but uh, in the campfirey <laughs> sort of way. And what do you do? Are we next to each other? I mean, um, I, am I next to Carla's uh, character? Well, the wolf would probably it's approach under, you, sort it's of. Un, it's under Trying me. to be close so the, as a loyal companion. The wolf keeps its distance, but the companion, they press on and investigate the firefly thing that is not a firefly. <laughs> <laughs> the fireplacey type of light. Yes. <laughs> um, and remember what we talked about, how to socialize. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll just say, uh, roll me a perception. Mm -hmm. But I'm yeah. going. All of us. Uh, oh, you're not going I'm further. Saying... Then if you are heading. I'm on the wolf, so the wolf decides whether yeah. I go or not. Okay. It's just the character. Um, are you ready? <laughs> I'm super ready. 28. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. We just started then. Fuck. All right. So, What's happening? Um, you spot very clearly as you silently approach uh, through the uh, trees. And um, at that campfire, it seems like there are um, two other lonely wanderers. A um, Leonin and a um, turtle. So what you see more exactly is if you, Janut, and the uh, rooks would describe your character. Hey, can I go first? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the, the first thing you notice uh, about the turtle is that <laughs> he has uh, earthy tones uh, on his skin, on his limbs. Uh, his skin is also slightly wrinkly. Uh, it's uh, more light brown, actually. Uh, with some darker spots around uh, his face, maybe his elbows. Uh, his um, arms and feet are quite stubby. Uh, he has uh, dark, sharp nails. Uh, he has a walking stick next to him. And you can see on one of his fingers that he has a nice black ring adorned with a jewel in the center. Uh, he has a pretty bulky build, he's around 400 pounds, so he's a big boy. Uh, he's not really tall, his shell is actually a bit taller than, than his head, and you can see all these leaves and uh, branches stuck to the top of his shell because he doesn't really, uh, well, have a sense of his own height, so he picks up branches <laughs> along the way, which come in handy when he builds a fire, actually. Um, <laughs> But you can actually see that his face is uh, kind. It's almost serene looking. He's very zen and he has a constantly curious look in his uh, light uh, yellow eyes. Uh, his shell is nice dark brown with a hint of green. And he has uh, the pattern of his scales is like circular. You can see like circles around each, each scale. Uh, but you can also see scratches in different places, so it definitely he's been through some troubles or maybe through some thorny bushes. You you can never know. Um, he fell down the stairs. Yes, definitely. <laughs> he's wearing uh, dark garments, including a long dark green cloak with a hood and plenty of pockets. 
uh, he carries a satchel on his back and you can see he kind of uses his shell to store something so you can see a crossbow just peering out of one end and a uh, double-edged axe from the other and yeah and that's it um, and the Leonin that sits by the by um, its its side its side its side. Um, uh, it's yeah, a heap, it's a actually. Heap. Yes, so I did by, not uh, specify his, that. Uh, yes. Side uh, is this Leonin, and they seem to have a like conversation going on. But please, yeah, let's describe them. Okay. So even though he's uh, uh, sitting, uh, he's uh, you can probably tell he's pretty tall and. Um, he has blue fur and a dark mane. Um, if you manage to catch a glimpse of his eyes, they are amber. And uh, he's a bit, he has um, uh, an armor put on, but um, only uh, it's not fully um, donned on. It's still he's still struggling with it. All right. Yeah. So you do spot uh, this two pair. So what would you do? So why do you try it? So why? I will miss you. <laughs> <gasps> okay. So what my character will do? Is <laughs> I see a bit from there. Yeah. So what my character will do is they lift up from the bush. They've been hidden, and they dart forward and <laughs> just you know. You see a slender figure, like one and seventy centimeters tall. Like you know, they look very gentle, like a dancer. But as they approach, a normal person would have stopped, like maybe at five feet or an arm's length. But they get closer, <laughs> and with a <sighs> gust of wind, you know, blowing, and they hover over there and then closing, and you feel like they're you're enveloped in this lavender scent, like it's a bit foresty, and they get so close, they lean against your chest and you see them like for all purposes this race exists in the in the universes but in this universe is yeah. not common yeah definitely what you see it's an unknown creature where is it from you have no idea as a blue skinned individual what is this like so they, they have blue skin like light blue skin as my jacket and they have like this big the beautiful piercing eyes, blue, deep blue, and they are kind but curious, and they lean against you, and you feel like almost your air is being sucked, you know, out of the, your surrounding, but it's, at the same time, you're kind of, you know, you're given more oxygen than is this encounter, and they lean against your chest. Hi. <laughs> uh, get, get back, get back. They, As you prepare we, like a sword out. Do we see this? Um, Sorry to interrupt. But you, you said you were uh, quite further away. But you, do we see her jump? You do, you do yeah. see her just sprinting all over, but you're still further back. She went in stealthy. So. Uh, I am the Sorry. Who are you? Oh, you made a new friend. That's lovely. Better friend? Uh, hello, friend. Hi. Hello, potential friend. Hi. Who are you? You'd probably arrive um, at this point as well. You see, like, they have this whispery, breathy voice. No, whisper! No, don't talk really? about this! Whisper! Carry by the wind! Put it there by state! I forgot that it! Come here! <laughs> <laughs> We're under attack! Yeah, like, I'm immediately not. there's a rush of two other individuals at your campfire, just I forget the Benjamin, an arm's length, and they, <laughs> they right. position themselves an, ar an arm's length um, um, away from you, and uh, they flicker their, um, their white, long, straight hair, and this kind of wisps, you know, blow them the tips away, and they like start wavy from the movement of air. Exactly. And um, they start apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry. Please. Um, I, I forgot. I have to sit properly. I, I am.
I'm sorry. Who are you? Can you repeat <laughs> that? Uh, in your language, it might be a little bit simple. It goes something like, Whisper Gary by a breeze to the northwest through the tempest bits before becoming the wind underneath the eagle wings. <laughs> Can you repeat that? Whisper <laughs> <laughs> Gary by a breeze to the northwest through the tempest bits before <laughs> becoming the wind underneath yeah. the eagle wings. What oh. the hell is she talking about? I don't understand anything. Is no. this? Uncle, it's fine. <laughs> what? You, 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 what, what you've heard, it's only the second part of what she said. The, oh, the first bit the first was part. more in her head, so to say. But the... the slow... In his head, actually. Yes, in his head. Uh, but um, the slow voice, you do hear it as it speaking with nobody. It's... It is actually the day. I am day. Hi. Your name the is day? day? I am whispered, carried by a breeze to the north west through the tempest west before becoming the wind underneath the eagle wings. <laughs> um, or you can call them as we have established. Or wispy, but or wispy. he doesn't yeah. like them. I don't like the wispy or the. It's like more. It's whisper. Sure. Or blow. I know you. Cylindri, what are you doing here? What? what? Do you know each other? That's interesting. Yes, it's me. What are you doing here? I left you with my mom. What are you doing here? Whoa. You had a job. One job. I gave you one job after all these years and you couldn't do it. <laughs> you did not give me a job. But your mother did. Did Yes. She told me to keep looking for you. For me? What? That's so silly. I don't believe you. And, she, and she's, you know, like half your size, maybe even short, and she's like I'm frowning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know by the knee. Who is this tiny creature? Hello, I'm Sippy. Hi, I'm Sheldon. Friends call me Shelly, actually, Shelly. which is a bit ironic seeing how I have a shell, but I guess they will never forget my name. Smelly Shelly. Okay, I think it has been a while since I showered. I only bathe in the sea. Are they the friends? This is my cousin. I the cousin. Mm. And this is Shelly. Hi. <laughs> This is nice. Maybe I have not. <laughs> Sildren does not enjoy hugs. <laughs> well, a small tornado, like a soft tornado, let's see, like a gentle breeze of a summer starts enveloping you and um, whisper and this like nice embrace. It tickles my inner shell. We heard carried by a wind to the south tempest fence. You remember the Benjamin? No. What did we talk about? I'm gonna talk a bit later. Let's introduce the friends. Oh, I know, but men. keep the proper distance. I am sorry. I am the sorry. Please. It's okay. alright. I'm glad to make new friends. How do we call you? A short name. My memory is not exactly it's, what I would it's like. <laughs> I love that character. I'm <laughs> so in love with her. That's <laughs> Wes, but Gary Maya. I will never be able to remember that. Do you have a nickname? You can call me like the first stand. I mean, that would be a bit accurate. Like the first bit of it, like Whisper Gary Maya. Well, we can't call me oh, well. I'm sorry, I did forget your name already. It is not bad intention. I'm Sippy, and you are Shelly. Okay. Sippy and Shelly going on adventure. This is how I remember it. Okay, Sippy, I will try. Yeah, you can't really remember anything, can you? No, Uncle, you know I have a bad memory. As I said, you only hear the last part. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 
So she's talking to herself. But well, actually, I have this ring that was given to me by my uncle right before he died. But he, well, as he died, apparently his soul got trapped in this ring. You see, my people don't really leave the island of El Tuchia, but only he did so far. Well, and I did. And now I carry him everywhere, and he tells me about his adventures. <laughs> He's inside my head now. I don't even find that. Wow! <laughs> Do you want to try and talk to him? No, I don't, I don't want to talk to her. Why would I want to talk to her? Are you asking me? I, I, you, you seem weird. I didn't understand if you asked me a question or someone else. Um, would you like to talk to my uncle to see? I think he would sure. like you. And I just, Hi, I, I just, uh, I take my ring off and I try yeah. to. <laughs> what? Play, play. Here. <laughs> oh, hello. No, you need to put it on your finger. This is so uncle. I put it on my finger. Hello, I'm... uncle. Nothing. Like I it's... put it on two fingers because I have small yeah. fingers. Put it on. Hello, it's, it's quite an interesting uh, silver ring with uh, a larger um, gem in the middle. And uh, you talk to it. Hello, uncle. It's very nice to meet you. You have a wonderful nephew. I like his nickname. Kissing. Quite interesting, mm -hmm. and you have very beautiful dark rings. There's sight because there, there, it's a ring, your uncle. Yeah. So, bye for now. <laughs> Did he say anything to you? He says he salutes you and he's proud of you. You can actually talk to him. Yes, <laughs> I also could hear him for a bit, but okay. Probably you can I, hear. I, I take the ring back, I put it on my finger. Yeah, she was lying. She didn't hear a word I say! <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> no. I don't know who to believe. It's alright. I can be the only one who talked to him. Who to believe what? Who to believe what? Well, my uncle told me that you didn't hear what he had to say. It's possible that we don't hear him quite as clearly as you do. That is a possibility. I was always his favorite. Makes it. I love this. The friends and the uncle and the ring. Hi. Who is this? This is fellow? so strange, bro. Um, hi. Uh, I'm 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 Draven. Hi. Hi. Oh. You said you're hi. driven. Yes, to do Draven. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> Dra 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 yeah, You can oh. call me Draven if you want. No, so that's all right. Of, what are you? Uh, a, a, a lineman? Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> where did you come from? Where, where did you come from? I was from? right here, all along. I was listening to this, um, uh, well, strange interaction, really. And um, I would call it a friendly interaction now that we all know each other. Friendly and strange. The We're friends. no longer strangers. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, we forgot Jonathan. <clears throat> yes, Jonathan? about it. Um, <laughs> there's one more. Uh, we had a friend, Jonathan Walter. He's old and he does. he's not very interesting. He drives. He's like a taxi a car carriage drive, driver. Carriage driver, yes. <laughs> Fantasy taxi driver. This <laughs> is um, when we're all against the government. You can call them. Or just wolf. That's very rude. Okay, um... Don't upset them. W Wolfie. No. Wolf. Wind, Wind world. world. Wind world. Oh. 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 Did I pronounce that right? seven times. Okay, that would be helpful if I knew how to count. Okay. Yes. I have a question for you two. Why are you here? Me? Why are any of no, us here? Me. What? Why are any of us here? Well, that's well, not what he meant. We are here to oh, search for right. someone. 
Yes. Uh, we are uh, searching for um, someone or traces of someone as well. A pr- that, does the profession start with a P? <laughs> As in, east. <laughs> as in a priest, priest, yes, yes. stess, priestess. Well, we did actually meet two guards from Galtia. Yeah, I think they were do, offering do. some reward if we bring her from yeah. dead yeah. or alive. Yeah. I hope we find her alive, though. They want the root. I'm the lying. Well, oh, 300 yeah. gold actually, if she's alive, so. You've got another number? They told you another number? I don't remember. Uncle, do, do, do you remember what they said they would give us? Oh, they, they didn't say. Actually, yes. I think we... Hmm. They did not say a number. It was 300 oh. gold pieces. My so uncle remembers it. Um, we got far less. No, we got 300. If, if she's alive. Yes. If she's alive. Yeah. 100 for so, each. Sorry to mention, it was uh, either if she's alive or, alive or if you find traces of yes. her remains. Her, uh, yes. oh, oh, remains yeah. Yeah. I just thought we want 300 gold pieces for alive. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. In 100 gold pieces for, for dragon tail. Dragon board tail. Oh. But how would we get the dragonborns to tell us tales? Question! Do the dragonborn act like lizards and we can just pull their tails? Um, Do you think or they grow back? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it is just broccoli. Can I make a research? By the way, I'm a Sildren. I will call you Sildren. That's exactly. As much as I'm friends with Yes, he still won't call me Shelly, and we've already known each other for a few hours. I <laughs> thought he would be my friend by now. Shelly. Sylvie, that's very rude of you. I like her very much. Your mother Zelia will be disappointed I when I can't believe her. she's related to you. <laughs> Alright, how is that your her cousin. Do you want to explain? Please. <laughs> I need a bit of n- normality. I, there's no judging. I, I'm not judging, I'm just asking. The cousin, I'm, not, you I'm, like. I'm just curious in their story. You pick your family as you go by and carry yourself in this life. Even if it's in the storm or if it's in the peace. I'm talking to again too much, yes. I'm He's super white. Yeah. I am the wisest. And the beautiful. And the beautiful. Sure. I thought I looked like a whisper, but I... I whisper. <laughs> so... Uh, it's family. Hope I won't no. joke. <laughs> oh. um, so, did you pick on any trail? And the priestess? We found a, a drag going from the road. A, a drag? Yes, uh, like a, a, a drag thing? <laughs> a dragon? No. What's a drag? I think they were dragged through the bushes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Nothing> <laughs> Uh, minus one for stealth. <laughs> <laughs> A born born accident. Uh. Are we going to find the prisoner of the religion of the two paladins? Uh, yes, the priestess. Yeah. 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 Um, Let's free them. Okay. Where do the tracks lead? Um, well, at this point, because um, with uh, you two, I have been following them, and at some point you lost track of them. This is why you decided to set up camp for the night, as it's already getting quite late. It's 10, 11, probably close to midnight anyway. So, yeah, you probably lost track, sort of. And you as well, like you just went on the warm current that led you to the fireplace uh, in here. 
and uh, but other than that, like you need to investigate further. It's yeah. okay. So, as you zoom in, you can see the both of us explaining to the party. Oleta, my mother, and one of his mother, Zede, are first cousins. They are both Leonines. Leonines. Leonine. Sorry Leonine. for my Leonine. present accent. That's a Leonine. It's a Leonine. 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 <laughs> and, um, fun fact, I'm... Look. I'm a halfling. I identify as a halfling. But my mom tells me I'm just a baby. <laughs> so, I'm a halfling. And also, fun fact, his other mom is also a halfling. She's part of the pride. But we're not related in that way. We're family. We're family because of my mom and his other mom, they own it. <laughs> oh, it's like, complicated. I like this. The family. Me too. Yeah. The family reunion. I, I, love, I love him. Sometimes I call him silly. <laughs> oh, that's what I call him too on our first encounter. Shelly, silly, silly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can know. The three <laughs> and I don't mean the bambans. <laughs> can't really see my mom. Hands are going to the sun rays like this. Yes, hand in hand. Yay! Hey. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm going to the forest and check yeah. things out. Um, so you're starting yeah, to have a conversation and then all of a sudden like Draven I goes away. I, I want to follow him. I mean, uh, <laughs> Let's all follow him. <laughs> I'm not just. He's just yeah, okay. Uh, then. Uh, what should I roll? Uh, you. Uh, yes, a survival. And also, I'm guessing you would want to be slightly stealthy. No? Well, how did you. What did you roll? 12. 12. Survival. Um, yeah, I'll say that you. Do pick up on some uh, tracks, and uh, they lead you to a sort of a deer further in the distance that you do spot. Good. Oh, Go for it. You would need to approach stealthily if you yeah. want to do to do it. So. Sure. Let's roll a stealth check. The thing is, um, yeah, I've rolled higher on the perception than is your, <laughs> as your. Um, Did you will take your word for it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, as you're approaching it, you do um, go on a few branches that snap and uh, trigger this uh, the air that immediately Wait, rushes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, out of uh, view's uh, distance, and uh, yeah, you following uh, Draven, you do see that he was kind of like almost prowling, ready to attack, but it made some noise, and the deer ran away, and he's like, "Yeah, a deer." Yeah, a deer. Do you need help with that? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, a. <sighs> <Don't. laughs> Um, how about you go back and I'll uh, <clears throat> look for traps, er, uh, tracks. I don't yeah. want to. Why? <laughs> please, please, please. I want to sit with you. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the market. Okay? Why? You want to sit with me, so... And we go back to the fire. Alright. Okay. And um, <laughs> so, uh, Draven, with. Where were uh, you two? Did you poop in the woods? Yes. What is the pooping <laughs> in the woods? What? Don't ask that. Why not? We're friends. Yes, we are the friends. I don't know what is the pooping in the woods. 
I will explain to you when when we don't have so much company. It's all right. I have been doing it since I left home. I am quite proficient at it. You see, you first have to dig a hole in the ground. I'm not doing the pooping. <laughs> not right now. You're not. To go. <laughs> to go. <laughs> okay. Oh God! You don't know how to poop. <laughs> You ate the pastry. Please tell me you know how to poop. <laughs> you mean, you know, the feces coming out of our bodies as we nurture them with nutrition and plants and like the sucking of the nut and then passing it through. I haven't done that, but I know of it. Okay. And I pet her <laughs> on the shoulder. On the, on, the, on the elbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Let's go find the priest. Tess. No. Okay. Um, it is um, getting quite uh, late. You did put a here because you are getting a bit quite exhausted. Up to you if you wish to put to go on further or if you as well decide to camp here. Up to you. But you would gather that you'd get a bit exhausted if you push through. I think Let's we should camp here for the night. Let's do the sleeping. Okay. Drover? Can I ask? Draven, sorry. I'm begging you. I have a problem. I rather a pickle. What do you think we should do best? Because you seem the only sane one here. We forgot Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> At the camp. With my tent. I can, my tiny tent. I can go after him. I mean, I slept well last night, so I'm not... Okay, right? I trust you. You go okay. bring him. How far was he from us? In my, like, um, <coughs> my tent. In hours, probably like uh, two, three hours. <laughs> away from the main road, so to say. If I were, let's say, to borrow the wolf, would it be faster? Uh, oh, definitely, yeah. Oi. I have another idea. Yes. You go bring back my tent because he's the only one I have. Okay. And give Jonathan this money and I give you like two okay. gold pieces. What? What's it for his services? A day would be, uh, yeah. And tell him he's dismissed. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what time is it? Approximately. Uh, it's getting close to midnight. So. Okay. I'll... Oh, with, with that thing, yeah, it's... Well, I'll go buy food okay. and go yeah. back buy food. So. I want to buy food. Okay. As well. Yes, I want to buy food. The so, queen's feet. Uh, as uh, Draven uh, leaves your campfire and you sit there, uh, do you do anything else or prepare for sleep taking watches and such? We can take watches. Yes. Who will be first? We can roll for it. I can take his watch. <laughs> Please don't be double jack stealing. I'm capable of watching. I know him, he's very capable. Even though he's younger than me. Poor he fella. Have a cape. <laughs> <laughs> what are watches? <laughs> when you when your friends need to go nap nap and sleep. I know this, but what are watches like the device in the pond? <laughs> it's fine. I break the fourth one. Let's move on. Um, he has like an hour and less. Yeah. <laughs> and so, he goes like this, like, oh, really bad goes, uh, the Who goes first watch? I'll yeah. need uh, three of them. We can go in couples. I can go first. I'm not uh, sleepy yet. I can go with you. And answer some more of your questions. Okay. I would like to go second, if it's all right. Do second. we do okay. it in pairs? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, it seems like it's the two of us. That's lovely. Okay. Then you see me retracting so, in my shell and just yeah. night and night. And... All right, so first watch, perception, and uh, if there's anything else you wish to do, do first watch. Oh my, I rolled the one. A one. 17. But you're a halfling, so... Oh, no, it's dirty one. Oh. <laughs> that changes things. Okay. 
Hogyan majd? Benne tíz már. Mm. I thought you were a half work. I'm a half work. I identify as a half work. To go to customs. But my bank was here. And the... Seventeen. Okay. Yes. Cool. <laughs> and, um... While um, nothing uneventful goes uh, during your watch, it's only just the calm, tranquil, serene uh, landscape of this forest that, uh, you know, the um, crickets uh, there in the woods have this uh, hum and vibration to it, which, you know, makes you feel very uh, breezy. And then also, um, again, the soft lights of fireflies in the distance, it gives it uh, that more... Uh, Magical. I'm uh, super distracted by all this magic but thing is happening. If if there's anything else you wish to do during your rest, would you like maybe if it helps you yes. to practice mm. some more? All right. Because I don't think you got the gist of it, to be honest. Okay. Yes. So mm. I will pretend to be a stranger. The Benjamin. Yes, Benjamin. Okay. And then you pretend to be you. Okay. Okay. Hi. Wait. <laughs> Mr. Mustache. Hello. I am Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. <laughs> no. Get close. An arm's length. No. Your arm. Mine is too short. A foot. Yes, a foot. Uh, they get backwards a bit. They they move backwards a bit. I'm the Ben. I'm Benjamin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am Benjamin. I was but carried by a breeze to the northwest for the tempest. But no, I forgot. Hey, start again, okay? <laughs> I miss Draven. He played the better me. Me too, but he has to go get my small tent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. Who are you? I am... Whisper. That's it. Very good. Yes, yes. Why are you blue? It's the business of mine why I am blue. I remember this, but then I am the lying because it's not business of mine. I am blue because I am happy. No, just think it's your business. Yeah, it's my business. The business of the mine. Yes. Okay. Let's start again. Yeah. Hello, I'm Benjamin. Who are you? Hi, I am the Benjamin. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I... Look, there's a leaf. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where that works perfectly. I forgot about it. Uh, oh. I thought it was the stranger. I know what... You know. You feel distracted. You're not paying attention to the watch. Me? I'm so not paying attention to the watch. This is way more interesting. So, you'll be Benjamin and I will be Whisper carried by, a, by the wind through the northwest, through the tempest face before becoming the wind underneath the eagle wings. That's very weird because it was Whisper carried by a breeze. But okay, it's close enough, I think. Um, she yeah. doesn't appreciate, okay. they don't appreciate all yeah. my effort. I am effort. the Dave, not the sheep. There's probably a squirrel in a branch somewhere just eating a peanut, like watching this like popcorn. <laughs> 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 I'm doing like a... Oh, wow. I'm I'm doing like a <laughs> Hello, Benjamin. <laughs> 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 I am Whisper. Why are you the blue? It's my business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> I see <do. laughs> I know you sound very beautiful, but I cannot because I have a squeaky voice. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Alright. Okay. Not to dead, to sleep. Your, Good um, job. Small um, life. Um, watch. Um, uh, begin. Uh, yeah. You go to sleep, your watch begins, and meanwhile, this is happening, just um, to do that bit, with you arriving um, at uh, the main road, um, you remember that when you have, um, you are supposed to take first watch, 
and he went to sleep. <laughs> so as you approach there, you still find uh, Benjamin sleeping. It's Jonathan. Jonathan. Benjamin Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> 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 Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, fell from the red lesson. Is anyone around? Is anyone around? You were born hot. You are aware of. <laughs> then I'll use the mask and I'll turn myself into one of the paladins that we saw some hours ago. Okay. And yeah. I'll approach him silently, mm -hmm. not one is waking I mean, up. Um, if you approach silently, then the stealth yeah. check. I'll roll with disadvantage. Sort of. Natural disadvantage? No, disadvantage on my part. Oh, five. <laughs> five. Minus one. Disadvantage. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> so, you, you go there stealthily, and uh, at some point you believe he might wake up as he, he starts to start and like half opens one of his eyes but still still like he's sleepy and he turns to the other side. I rolled four. <laughs> I rolled a four. Okay. You're leave. so lucky. I yeah. leave the two gold next to him. And I stab him. <laughs> <laughs> and I will remove one point from my... Oh, okay. Thing. Yeah, and um, um, I'm not sure I want to do what you told me, so I won't. Not <laughs> sure, <laughs> <laughs> so I won't. Okay, but okay. no, actually, I wanted to. I yeah. wanted to protect pots, right? Okay. Gasp! <laughs> I need to roll uh, for that. Let me just check. I got that one. What that does? Um, check pots. You failed, whatever it is. So, let's say surface spots. Yeah, uh, <coughs> definitely those of uh, finding a tranquil, safe space of him sleeping, and his mind definitely wanders off to uh, you, that you don't recognize a few figures. Benjamin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, thinking of uh, you know. Um, female figure and also there's a small child in there and also thoughts of a city okay but uh, that's then i'll cast healing word in there okay to yeah, undo. yeah. and uh the thing is so you grab then the the tent yeah, for the tent. city and leave the gold and then head yeah. back yeah cool right and as coming back to this campfire in the bloom bloom sand forest um you but I'll turn back yeah myself. okay and you uh to roll perception checks and as you're starting this uh this change of shifts uh, like 10 15 minutes into your your shift right appears as well and you go straight to sleep or do you mm, what is it? like mm, it's 3 a.m i'll stay a bit okay 10 10 60. 16. Okay. Because um, while um, during your, your, your night's rest, um, there you, Sildren, you first uh, spot that there is shuffling in the bushes further into, into the forest. And uh, they seem to approach uh, the, the noises growing. Uh, more intensely and uh, you immediately see coming from the bushes uh, two figures that look a bit quite so to say desperate for help and really ragged looking and uh, please now you too <laughs> make Are we visible uh, That's at this a question. point um, for the um, audience mm, sure because if you are uh, like that, uh, then I'll say that you just spot that the bush is just uh, like out of nowhere. They just seem to get ruffled a little bit. You might believe <coughs> they're an animal in the bushes, something a predator. You're not sure. But uh, yeah, you the the <laughs> definitely you're getting suspicions and you guys spot these uh, individuals by the campfire. Right, Sido. Oh, I told you we would find some help. But we need to, to, to talk to them 
have their opinion on Krepak and then decide on a new plan of action. If you say you trust, <laughs> then I come with you because I believe. But what if uh, these uh, people are the ones that actually died to Sister Leandra? Do you not pay attention back there? Those were dragonborn. You, you things with dragon tails and no wings. I go, I got to be confused about what they was doing. <laughs> well, after I ran away, you know, to distract them, because I told you, I distract, you go spy in the tent, you told me nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, wait, oh, I know, I'm gonna flip a coin. And you, you hear like some rustling of something, like, like, like shuffling to a backpack and something, and then a jingle of a coin. Right. Three, two, one, go! You have oh, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well I, I say they can be as bad as the dragons. Do we hear them? Um, <laughs> depends, because if you're far away, uh, or how... We would be far away, because okay, I would I'll, want to... I'll say roll a stealth check. Because uh, okay. you rolled uh, with advantage uh, since uh, yeah. ten. Uh, roll, you rolled because you are still awake. Can I use my passive <laughs> perception <laughs> while I sleep? <laughs> so with advantage since you are invisible, right? right? But I'll, I'll say, I'll say that you can. I'll say that you can uh, sort of because uh, it's a if it's a loud noise, you would hear. But at this point, they're quite stealthy. What did you roll? But with advantage, advantage or, not? or not? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, no, because this would be based on sound, oh, on fine. hearing, and uh, invisible doesn't protect you from making your voices uh, not loud. <laughs> 24. Oh. 11. That's three. Okay. okay. <laughs> then probably you would uh, all, because you're all 10 as well, and uh, the average is lower than 10. Uh, so you'd probably at some point uh, hear some. <laughs> Uh, something in the bushes. Not quite clear on what. The money it? that jiggle jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that. Maybe before we go, we see who they are and see if they have the winkies or whatever you said about the dragon looking people. Oi, it was you who says that. I thought it was you who said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind, maybe. I mean, let's silently approach, you know. <laughs> and right, right, you, you're correct. Let us lower volume. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there yeah. anybody there? But yeah, as soon as you make two steps out of the bush, you, you hear in your direction. Uh, Hello? Maybe they are new friends. Oh, come on, how lucky can we be? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I have been pretty lucky so far. I yeah, think they, they, they heard us. <laughs> yes, Maybe. we heard you. Maybe we can get an owl. Quickly, quickly say something, owl. <laughs> <laughs> I know what an owl says. <laughs> yeah, what did they, did they think you are an idiot? <clears throat> oh, I am the, the, the spirit of. Oh my god. I, I like, like, oh, start up. <laughs> What it's am I the spirit of? The forest! Oh, the legendary spirit of the forest, right? It's an yeah. invisible voice. Right, right! Yeah. right. The, 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 the spirit of the forest, <laughs> right? So what does the forest want from us? The, fo <laughs> the, the forest would like you to lay, lo lay down your weapons and... <laughs> What else? <laughs> I, <laughs> sit, <laughs> I sit there like a tree. Oh, good one, good one. I sit there like a tree oh. next to him, and so I. You, you gotta contribute. I, uh, it may not be apparent, but I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh no, we are so scared we will lay down uh -huh. our weapons. Right, you should be scared. <laughs> The, the spirit okay. of the forest is second to only Krepak, the almighty god. Come out so we can bow to Krepak! <laughs> um, when so Krepak is mentioned, um, I'll say those who wish 
to do a religion check, but not those who are sleeping. No. Maybe give them all of your time. posters that um, you made. You know the beautiful. Uh, uh, wait, no, wait, no, you get them history. But no, no, no. Yes. Uh, oh wait, it's no. a religion check. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, I don't know. He's been Five. around the world. Should okay. I, should I add something? Mm, not really. Okay. Uh, 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 it's a thirteen. Thirteen. Mm. Yes. Not really. You wouldn't have heard about Krapak. You say you're old. Five. Yeah. So no idea. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe you show them the poster that you <coughs> know the pancake. parchment with the drawing and. Well, <laughs> y y you think we should reveal ourselves? Why now? I'm the spirit of the forest to them. I want to go in the, their direction. Just I okay, have okay. a question for the spirit of the forest, and I'll take the sigil. Oh, has the, the servant, you, you may pose Has the he seen the sigil before? <laughs> okay. It's all right. What is the sigil? Uh, to, uh, it's it's like, like the eclipse? silhouette silhouette of a sun, um, like the eclipse, just the round around it, and uh, at the um, middle part is. Uh, there are some kind of like edges, um, and uh, it's quite simplistic. Uh, but uh, you, Sildren, uh, do recognize it. Yes. You, uh, you do recognize it. It's up to you, Christine. So I'm guessing that we don't recognize yeah, it. Yeah, none of you, the rest of you have no idea. I'm, I'm moving in their direction. Like, okay, you can Hello, choose. you can come out. And now, now this portal is probably like 5 10 feet. Hi. You, you can hear like shuffling of someone backing up <laughs> as you're approaching. Yeah. Why, uh, why recognize the sigil? It's the sigil of submission to the spirit of the forest. <laughs> yeah. The user of that shall receive the mercy of the forest if they lay down their arms and do not approach. Yeah, you can come out now. I mean, I mean, you kind of botch that. I mean, come on, <laughs> come on. I mean, I like the spirit of. I mean, I'm respectful towards the spirit of the forest, but uh, I want to see your vessel. So his you, name is so actually Gaba, and oh. uh, his <laughs> <laughs> and we are here searching for Sister Leandra, uh, who has been lost in the forest for a few days uh it's a very this i think this this don't have to i like this like, blow the L silo and i i uh, <laughs> remove the invisibility spell <laughs> myself yeah, and you see like a, you see a very like a, a red-faced goblin that is wearing a um uh, some sort of uh, of a, a robe that looks to be made out of leather that's been painted white, but very badly, like in super bad craftsmanship. And uh, he has in one hand a staff with a skull effigy that's very badly uh, sewn into the staff, like it's hanging about, almost falling down. And he also seems to have a lot of, of uh, uh, posters and parchments and painter supplies on it. And he's like really small, about uh, one meter and 10, something like that. Not as small as you think. <laughs> <laughs> Guess again. And you right, don't put in this and, uh, well. Next to him, standing two meters tall, <laughs> and there's a, a slender um, creature, very pale, almost translucent, uh, so that you can actually clearly see her veins, or well, her, or whatever that is. Um, with very wide alien looking um, eyes and um, loose blonde hair dressed in a traditional monastery uh, garments called Ie that you've probably seen um, the priestess of the Toko, priestess of Toko uh, is something that the priestess of Toko uh, wear it's uh, basically a simple very worn linen dress soon with red and gold patterns um, on top of her shoulder, there's a cape that's held in a pin de depicting the two doves of Toko. And walking gracefully with the gracefulness of a, a tree, uh, <laughs> Toko uh, slowly approaches. Uh, it's, it's silent. 
Silent. I said Toko. I said Toko. <laughs> <laughs> I said Toko. Yeah. <laughs> I like gods, the the gods walk among us. Yeah. Oh, the they, they do. They, they, yeah. Yeah. they do. Yeah. Uh, Xylo approaches them and continues to spill out all her secrets. Yes, uh, so we are here searching for mother. Just as you continue, I'm like, just pulling her. I kneel next to you. What? What, you could just go and tell them everything? Well, I mean, <laughs> since they didn't kill us yet, it might have... It's all right. Yeah. What makes you think they won't do it? We are not here. Are you afraid of dying? Are you not... Yes. Are you not... Do you not believe that your god will help you? You know that Krepak and Doko are very powerful gods. Oh, they are here. Krepak more powerful than Doko, but... <laughs> yeah. It's uh, their best friends, no? Um, more like a, like a mentorship agreement. Best mentorship friends. But I think that we need to trust the gods that they will. Right, right, right. We trust the gods. My friend Silo here will just tell you everything because we're not afraid. We can take you on. Crepa can take you on. And as I say that, I, I go behind Silo. Uh, probably <laughs> I'll, I'll say for the purpose of this because uh, it's getting quite loud the, the discussion. Mm -hmm. So if you wish to wake up, like because it's it's getting a bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wake up like no, we be what? Um. My character will die. <laughs> like that me from the interaction before. What? You see what? this creature? Like no, we speak. Somewhere in between your heights. Remember with long... the Benjamin. <laughs> with long... Not the Benjamin. the Benjamin. I need to. She just glides in your direction and quickly those intense blue piercing eyes scan you both and then they decide to go next to. Uh, Xylo, if I'm not mistaken, yes. and you get enveloped in this whirlpool of, of wind and your your hair starts to lift up a little bit and this strange new creature yeah, that you haven't seen not seen before just gets very, very close to you. Like you feel this foresty scent, this lavender, and they say, Hi. Oh, it, is it on me? <laughs> she is it's really friendly. <laughs> It is day! Hello! Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm putting my socks on, I will be quite soon out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I am uh, the priestess of Tokok. <laughs> Tokok and Krepak, let's say. The, uh, right, right, the, right. Tokok are very best friends, mentor friends, right. mentorship ah, friends. So you are the lying, yes. The what? The what? You're lying. The who? No! Right. It's what you mean? It's very important to always tell the truth, and that is something that I believe in. Yeah. Therefore, I will speak no lies ever to anyone. Oh, okay, since you're not lying, I can tell you my full name. <laughs> What's your full name then? Full name? <laughs> they turn around and look at you guys. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm in the tent, putting my <coughs> socks on. <laughs> he has a lovely name. I'm their name is... No! What's the matter with you? So can Are I, you joking? Can I say it? Okay, I can sing it. So my name is... How about using words? Well, uh, if it's in your words, it's, it's, it will be like something like Whispered Gary by a breeze to the northwest through the tempest fence before becoming the wind underneath the eagle wings. Well, that's not very practical, in it? <laughs> They keep saying this. How about whisper? Yeah. Yes. That's settled. That's the shorter oh, version. I actually like your first name more because it reminds me of the forest next to my church. And in the monastery, we really do believe that natural things, like the wind, is something that we should befriend. Yes, right? But ain't nobody she got does. time for that. <laughs> she is the priestess that we've been looking for. No, she's not. Yes. You remember the description? That I, yeah, that's match. I come out of the tent. Is whisper on the, this new person on her body? Yeah. Well, very, with, very close. Whipping, 
You see wisps scaring me. No, Whisper, what did we talk about? <laughs> she, said they, she said it's not the lying, so I can't tell. Yeah, but don't sit on them. It is a communion with nature. No, yeah, you're yeah. something very natural like that. Okay, so you're cuddling. It's okay. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you, did you hear something that this is something about the priestess? Well, I, I just heard some squeaking. <gasps> but you do, yes. you do find it a bit, not really strange, but the fact that, uh, again, the description, uh, especially on the outfit uh, with the, the white linen blouse with uh, the <coughs> red and golden motifs on it, uh, does resemble the one, like, <gasps> she's wearing, fun? like, yeah. Probably, but do they have the sacred flowers? Yes, you do have a crown of flowers. Yes. Right? Yeah. It is uh, from. I made it myself. I made one, a fresh one every day. It is uh, uh, custom to our temple that we wake up in the morning, <laughs> we gather the blooms, <coughs> we make little braids, we put on head, because we respect nature, and nature is always on our minds. But it's a I love flowers. <laughs> Disrespectful to nature. They liked to be picked. It's how they okay. fulfill their destiny. This is so cool. The flowers do the dead and then they become the prey. Then they become nature again. They become they food feed. Yeah. for the next plants. Yeah. Like when you're pooping. First thing in the morning, I go to the outhouse and uh, we, uh, I, I think this is not the proper place to explain all of this. Uh, if you want, if you give me my like, the hand, uh, yeah. it's okay. I found them. We can go. Yeah. Okay, I think I am being kidnapped uh, a little bit here. Good. Good job. I'm helping. I'm helping. Yes. Uh, yes. Now let's go get the hundred gold. As far as I understood, you are looking for a priestess, right? Yes. Okay. We are looking for I am a priestess too. looking for a priestess. Yes. Oh, so it's safe to assume yeah. Yeah. It's a priestess that, ship, Yes. And he is helping me. That you're looking for the same priestess we are looking for. Right? Right. Okay. Depends what is the name of the priestess. We don't know. Right? Uh, you we know. probably uh, were given the name. I'm not sure. Oh, but she, no. she gave you the hair. Yeah, she gave you the description. And, yeah, but, uh, you're in Xylo, right? She has yes. blonde hair. You have blonde hair. Well, and yes. she has to have dark hair. I think I have. I think she's face. not the one, guys. So, as I would say. But, but what, what's your thoughts about Dragonborn? I have never met one. Well, you wanna, you, you, you wanna save one of those priestesses from the Dragonborn? I don't if think... For money, yes. There were Dragonborn, but anyway. If anything, um... Um, this is more of a common knowledge to all of you and explaining here to the audience as well <laughs> that um, all of you might know um, it's uh, okay to point the fact that uh, um, due to the recent events of the eruption of ages the this massive earthquake that happened in uh, Alaquinza uh, this plot was uh, found out that uh, behind it were again uh, various groups of dragonborn who did this meticulous evil plan to bring bring forth this and uh, as such while they can't be exiled on another continent since <laughs> there is it's isolated they've uh, just been um, sort of exiled and isolated uh, somewhere to the south of the continent and they have an area over there that uh, they've been exiled to but it's um, it's even even from before this like dragonborns weren't really seen as the kind gentle soul they were always like hot-headed very uh, pushy and very so to say put that very tough uh, look on them um, and uh, especially after these events uh, they've been banned from the societies and the kingdoms and such so yeah keep on going <laughs> we oh, were okay. stalking this dragonborn who kidnapped a, a, a priestess of Krepak and also of Taco <laughs> and we, 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 we was trying to, to get him back. Mm, uh, and, and then we, we spotted your camp and 
we, we was wondering if you would help us get rid of the Dragonborn. I don't think there were Dragonborn. I pet uh, him with my very long fingernails. Um, I'm slightly scared when you do that because you're really big. <laughs> yes, uh, Goba helped uh, to r and then ran together. We ran to the forest and we saw tracks and then in in the tent, no, there was yeah. uh, a pri the priestess tied up. It's called Princess Leandra, and she is also just as me, a proud server of Toko, and. A hundred percent, we saw humans who are not humans, who are covered in scale and that look like dragons. They have, did they have wings? Well, uh, we did spot on uh, a few of them, not all. Okay. Uh, and with wings, but, you know, teeth very sharp ran towards us they're over there from okay. what i know does is that an, a description of a dragonborn mm, yeah pretty much i mean a very stupid <laughs> description of a <laughs> dragonborn as, about something as intended I mean, <laughs> yeah you say that they have that elongated uh, like part of their face snout. Called, the snout yeah, yeah the elongated snout and such Big grinning teeth. Yeah, my question, yeah, my question is, uh, who sent it to you Just to find the priestess? Random, that it is, on the road. A paladin and a yes. priestess. They asked us. Is it the paladin of the retribution paladin? It's it's the the paladin. Yes, I, yes, with the retribution. And they told us Aiden. to ask for Aiden. Adan. Is there by any chance any paladin of Krepak? No, it was Zenos and Helmet. What is this card? <laughs> that was the oh, symbol. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> let, let me tell you. Uh, she, uh, and uh, uh, Goba will uh, will come to you and start like speaking as fast as he can, and he will show you like posters and uh, all kinds of memorabilia him. about uh, Krepak, which is the goblin god of uniting everyone under his banner, and he's a good god that in he wants to ensure that uh, everyone is, you know, like a flight attendant, right? <laughs> he wants to ensure that all the races will uh, uh, go on towards the path of good, following him, and uh, it's clearly a, 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 like a, an unhinged uh, speech about everything and, and that he just uh, um, starts telling you about qualities and virtues and valors and it, it's... But you to a normal person it would not really make sense, it's an avalanche of information. Wow. Okay. And, and most importantly, very good friends with Toko. But you do not need a god to follow the followers of the god. What, what do you mean? The god made me uh, like impugn the casting stick, you know? No, I, I can cast magic. We got a fangirl over here. Sorry? Yes, he, you wouldn't hear that, that basically. Appears. Yes, uncle, he, he seems quite passionate about his god. Who was you talking about? Who was well, you talking my to? Where is your that uncle? You are a fangirl. He's in my head. He's talking to me. Well, oh, I once had a cousin in the tribe that got hit in the head, like really, really I, bad, I, I and he started like anything. hearing voices all the time, and we had to hit him two times in the head for the voices to go uh, to go black. Look at this guy. Yes, he thinks it's interesting. Huh? He, he also died. Sad story that one. Uh, so after the weird. voices stopped, or <laughs> no, the voices stopped when he died. Yeah. Oh, this but is a terrible you? idea. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't gonna propose it. He died at the end. Or maybe one hit with the with the stone. But the good part in all of this is you. that you have beautiful drawings. Oh, my lady! <laughs> and he like uh, <laughs> this is his hair <laughs> under his hood. You can only see like uh, yeah, like uh, it's very small. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go next to him. I also go. I'm Krepak. Goba. Nice to meet you. The, the hand is a bit. Uh, Sweat. Uh, yeah, but I, not I, from sweat, precisely. I'm, I'm going to approach it off my maroon coat, and I'm going to stand next to you in a very up straight position, and CP is clearly shorter than uh, Goba, is it? Mm -hmm. But yes, she's going to do this. 
Gobo will just like scrunch with it. Nice to meet you, Gobo. You draw, you draw very beautifully. He makes oh, flying. Thanks. Gobo is like clearly nervous. <laughs> he makes this yesterday. He makes this the other wow. day. He makes this. He put this an owl on an owl. He. Tell about about Krepak. Uh, well, I mean, you need to. You said crepes. I also know how to make fresh baked. Good and crepes is one of them. Right. They're tasty. Well, I, I would like to, to see those one, one, one day. If this you is want. one, it's a bit stale, but there you go. Oh, they would go great with my berries. I've had them. Yeah, you, you can wash them week. together. It's okay. uh, some. some, um, it's some uh, I think it's better now. rudimentary stuff because I didn't have an oven. This but... would go great with rat meat. I hold your hand, sister. Uh, sister uh, uh, Miranda said, never take food from strangers. But, we but are I not, we're I not see strangers. You. Yeah, we're the friends. What's your names? And they are your whisper? Oh, yes. That's rude. What, what do you mean? What, what's your actual name? And, and yes. Do try to contain it in one sentence. Must we get my whisper? Well, then it just sounds like whisper. I'm gonna go tinkle. Tinkle. I don't start having my brothers. She probably has a tiny blood. Sleeping so says, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. I, I hide a bit about, uh, uh, behind Silo when I see you. You're the yeah, one I'm right? Yeah, probably I'm one of the tallest. I mean, same height as Silo, pretty much. Uh, what, 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 what's, what, what's your name? I'm Siltman. Uh, Sibis cousin. Well, I'm Gobba and I'm really vicious, you call it. I well, mean... I wouldn't corner you in an open You face. couldn't! <laughs> yes, he would most likely... Uh, he's him. terrified of you, clearly. <laughs> he is the cousin. Cousin of what? Of the CP. <laughs> he don't look alike. Family doesn't look alike. It's... What do you mean yeah. goblins are all green? Are they now? That's a bit the racist. I'm pretty sure I saw a goblin with some brown on half of his face. Those are called bruises. <laughs> when you <laughs> get it in the head or in the face, you go brown. Otherwise, with green. But my face is all brown. Does that mean I'm bruised? No, you're some sort of cousin of him as well. No, I'm his friend. Friend, his oldest friend from this group. Hi, I'm Sheldon. You can call me Shelly. Hello, Shelly. Hi. Hi. Hi, Whisper. <laughs> and what's your name? I am Draven. I like him the best. He's yeah. very calm. He keeps to himself. He seems not to have any any sort of psychic condition. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking about right now. What? 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 Do I have a psychic condition? <laughs> he is thinking your cousin with someone that's one third of your size. You could be a cousin with me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course we're not cousins. But you sure? Me and Sip are cousins. You say you know Silo can take you down at any time. <laughs> under, under the power of the gods, we are all brothers and sisters. Except those ones, they are cousins. All they brothers and Alabama. sisters. <laughs> I am the confused. Who is what? We are all brothers and we sisters. We are the friends. Yes, brothers, sisters, friends. I do not have the brothers and the sisters. It's how it works. You become a person and then you have just sisters around, just like I did at the monastery. <gasps> Maybe they died of hunger trying to say their names. And I hide back behind Silo again. <laughs> so, the brothers and sisters without being a family. Yeah, exactly. We're the brothers and the sisters without being a family. Silo, so, can you share and these posters to these people? Or I, I also have no family. Confident. Have had I, I have oh, received oh. A, a poster for you, a poster for you, a poster for you. For it's it's a poster wh where it just says uh, crepe crepac number one and it's the <laughs> depiction of a 
like it, it, it's a creature that kind of looks like a goblin, but a female go goblin, and it has some weird stars painted all over them. I immediately start munching on the paper because I also eat like colored stuff. <laughs> right, well, this is, this is that's not the, be, the worst way to consume religion. <laughs> well, you know, maybe I'll get a taste for it. You know, you said that right, right. This <laughs> one's got a right idea. I use gust and I put it in the backpack that I have. Nice. Now that we're all aligned on Krepak, do we want to to to, to free the priest of, of Taco? I do if you wish Taco. to go now. Oh, Taco, of course. Yeah. Uh, you know when God, minor gods compared to Krepak are mentioned. It is very mentioned. important how you spell it. You yes. said that they are friends, that they are masters. Oh, yeah, one yes, they're they're they friends. Okay. I ate one time tacos at your mom's place. It was delicious. What's a taco? It's a... Uh, you explain it. Yes. La question. Cuisine. Fresh food. Not like the berries. In a... Oh, in a... Shell. Yes, in a shell. Like this. Like my shell? Yeah. Do you Do you eat turtle? No. Are you... Are you trying to eat? <laughs> That's why you... No, Look you, what you did. Your I'm friend. scared and I retracted my... <laughs> no, please come out. <laughs> How is everyone feeling? I will protect you. Look at me. I'm strong, I'm brave, and I will defi defend you with the cost of my own life. I'm like sorry, Shelly. We're not... You called me Shelly. We're not going Yeah, to. yeah, very touching. How is everyone feeling? Should we go now? Yeah, I'm feeling jittery. Okay. Well, I we can take on some Dragonborn. <laughs> if there are Dragonborn. Though I don't think they'll... I'm ready to go back to sleep. My sh watch is over, my shift. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's some priestess of Taco uh, back there, and, and they're being held hostage by Dragonborn, and they have this this weird triangle-shaped artifact it, that yes, they're using to, to, to suck out the life out of them. Right? That, yes, that and, was they, and, they, and they tied them up and put them in a tent, and uh, oh, they, no. had, uh, they were around the fire, and, oh and some... Big uh, co constructs, so some pyramid. Uh, you know, a bad man, a uh, dragonborn, also destroyed my village. Roy, we can turn these ones up uh, in, yeah. inside out and, and get the priests of Taco back to. Uh, yeah. Stop saying it like that. It is Toko. Roy, Toko. Taco. <laughs> So it's like, like, no, but no stores, you're like, I know, right? <laughs> it's a subject yeah. we can tackle later. <laughs> the plan is you go now? Or oh, we need to hurry. You slept oh. already. I need to... On, uh, on to my watch. Yes, no, and you. I need to continue it. Mm. But... Yeah, it, you know that you're not home at uh, Izele's house. You sleep... But this is about life and death. But this is about life and death. And it's important because she is the best sister that I ever had. Look, he's crying. Look what you did. I need my child so for you. You need to cry to convince that one. I poke you like with the stuff. I, a tear falls down my cheek. You are describing this? <laughs> extremely important and the eyes go uh, watery and it's really weird because it's not a tear but it's like a uh, Cascade. <laughs> Curtain of tears. I'm sorry, Zero. We'll go after your friend in the world. The tears are real, I'm not even pretending. You made the core, right? Mm. Um, the fire. Please, 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 come with us. We it's have fine, I didn't get to sleeping as well. We will not be the dead. You will disappoint your mother if you don't follow me. You know this, no? I'm just cranky. Or are you a coward? We have a, ch we have a chance cranky. to keep her alive. If she's not I'm gonna go get myself killed. And so it's all your fault. Uh, what's more important, your sleep or someone's life? <laughs> sleep. It's always <laughs> someone's life. Okay. CP keeps nagging me, so. Yeah, yeah, what what if someone else, when you're a, a prisoner, th thinks that sleep is more important? Would you agree then? Especially when you're a prisoner, because you can't get any good sleep. Is there a point? 
If you were in a dungeon, called, uh, 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 not under your, like, not willingly, from Dragonborn, like, capture and imprison, I would come for you the second life. I've heard it, no nappy naps, no snacky snap, no second breakfast, just go and save you. We should do the same. Yes, please. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Okay, it's not thanks. enthusiasm, it's peer pressure. So. <laughs> I won't I, go. I've already said I would go. Okay. I go the first. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're right. So, um, as you are um, just, um, you know, putting out the campfire and all that, pick up your belongings to head on, you start going through again to the uh, blooms and forest and uh, even uh, through its uh, thick canopies of branches and leaves above there are still uh, spots in here when it, when uh, the, it cracks and you can see the um, sky above with uh, Cirilla this big big uh, five times the size of our moon um, it shines this uh, brighter um, light that has a bit of a bluish tint to it and um, yeah as you're uh, all um, heading uh, into the forest excited and uh, afraid of uh, what's to come uh, we are going to take a break guys and uh, see you here in just a little bit
<laughs> Welcome back again to um, our adventures here in Isemras. Welcome. And we resume with um, you going into Bloom Sand Forest on the path that uh, Xylo is showing you. And uh, before anything else, I would like to ask for marching order. Um, Who would go first? Whisper will go first. Okay. Go well, I uh, should go behind uh, her because uh, I know the way. It's very easy. I am last. Your whisper, so if you pass it around the table and then we'll place it on the mat. We see the minis for the first time. Each yeah. other's minis. I should look at them as well because yeah. I haven't really yeah. appreciated them. Yeah. And uh, oh, as well. You're on wind. Oh, that, is that, that, that is... Uh, yeah. Is that actually wolf? elvish? Uh, you hear for the first time, and that's uh, when we yes, get the uh, current. I'm sorry for uh, the elvish that you just heard. I think the second time tonight. <laughs> what was your? No, Bine, just a fudge. Ah. All right, yeah. and uh, who would go next? I would go next. You would go next. Okay. Oh then. Following show me, show me, show me, show me. I'll go the same way. Have you seen the wolf? <laughs> <laughs> um, Who that? Nice. Draven. You can see Draven. here Draven. who did this beautiful, beautiful painting of um, of the miniature. Shout out to our, our, all our friends. We can name them if you want. Talented friends. Talented, Talented friends. friends. Talented with the brush. Andre, Alexander, and Diana. Thank you guys. We will link you. Yeah. 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 After Draven, who Check would out the, our, um, Captures. You could go like in pairs if you want, like one next to another. But I think I was uh, after, so it was when me, whisper, and you should be with me. I, I would go yeah after Silo. His okay, so Silo was... we have. Silo so when is the is the wolf? Whisper is my character, which Holy is a shit. day. <laughs> so you're you have two minis. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. That's so, uh, I think I'm gonna follow um, Goba. Okay. And right before Shelly. Because okay. you're the last. We're the, I'm, I'm we're the Gabba. last. I will drag Gabba. everybody in this party. Gobba, Gobba. Gobba. And then Xylo with <laughs> Goba. This is yep. so interesting. So, this is the here other. is. I need to yeah. take a moment to appreciate this. Oh, that's nice. Man, it's it looks like it's. <laughs> it looks like bought. you have uh, whipped cream in <laughs> your hands. <laughs> it's a guiding them, bowl. All of them look very nice. It's a guiding bowl. Whipped, whipped cream. cream. <laughs> whipped cream. Whipped cream. This is Tyler, right? Cannon. <laughs> okay, it's a whipped cream bowl. <laughs> yeah. Children okay. will in um, the marching order. He will try to go last, but he won't be able to because <laughs> because Shelly moves slow, yeah. guys. <laughs> so we have... No, <laughs> yeah. is as fast as the slowest. And, uh, so I after know. them, it's sippy. In theory, <laughs> I see go you first. have purple <laughs> undergarments. Hmm. <laughs> I see oh, your oh. underwear. Yeah. Have many colors of underwear. Cobo has oh, everything. Oh, this is so nice. You can only see his nose. You are very small. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Is that a fish? Oh, it's a fish. 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 Oh, Okay. And then Gaba right next to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like I'm so small in comparison. <laughs> but okay. why is, uh, and also, I don't like this because why is it gives some spoilers, but sure. <laughs> What's spoilers? Um, Nothing. Next one. Uh, uh, yeah, so. Where's the leaf? Then. Out loud. Oh. Look at that leaf. <laughs> oh, I, I like him. I love this beer. A really cool name. This beer is What's beer? I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. Oh, it's no, very no, nice. I like how he did the armor thingy. 
Yeah. It's a it's a walking stick. It's a huge ass walking stick. With a pointy thing. With a pointy nice. thing. At the end. <coughs> okay, <coughs> and lastly, <laughs> lastly, <coughs> barely <coughs> walking gently, taking uh, careful steps one at a time. We have uh, Shelly. <laughs> you can see Shelly. I'm, not I'm not looking. <laughs> also did by Andre. Mama! Whoa! Mama is English for mother. <laughs> so many little creatures. <laughs> yeah, they're all magnificent. This oh, is Shelly's so an horrible. ecosystem. Oh, wow. Do you actually have fish? No, you have birds. You have a bird. You have a tiny bird nest on top of you, man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I will probably get a family girl or two along the way. Involuntarily. <laughs> <laughs> Involuntary familiar. Hashtag. Um, question? Is uh, this the order that you're putting on the map? Uh, for now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is the marching order because um, whoever is in so front. Oh whoever is trying to be very stealthy. Is the shittiest. Uh, right. But uh, I guess I will. Uh, yeah, just you roll me a stealth check and then uh, whisper. 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 So let me. I'm sorry. I am the slowest. Kids, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. I feel like crying. This is the nicest thing I've owned, <laughs> except for my <the> drum kit. <laughs> and so, um, as you're walking to Bloom Sand Forest, um, um, stealthily, like keeping the um, not such a quick pace, but a slower one. Uh, you do go in that direction and. Um, while um, there is the wildlife elements all around surrounding you, there are, there are small critters that watch you go with intent towards that place and uh, there are flowers that in the dark night can't really see the, their beautiful details but they grow on the side of the trees and such. It's quite a beautiful scenery that at some point it's uh, broken by this uh, open uh, space uh, appearing in the forest which you do spot um, like a campfire and uh, three tents uh, but uh, i will want you to roll me perception to see how much you see all of us or just uh, she is in front and i yeah. also think we maybe should we should make the clearing so we can see our characters at the camera do we have a light source uh perception you say Yes. It's a 25. <laughs> All right. Um, well, um, you definitely <laughs> do spot that. Don't looky look now. <laughs> There's definitely um, what you go and see uh, signs of agitation that uh, amongst uh, five uh, figures that, again, you haven't really quite seen before <laughs> but they do appear to have the description of uh, what uh, Xylo said of uh, the dragonborns uh, mainly red in scales uh, scale color and um, they all seem to be agitated as um, as they uh, speak in hush or something in the uh, draconic from now and then not sure if you you do know the iconic, okay? And um, and the wind is carrying their speech to my ears. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, because with that uh, high of a perception roll, you do gather what they're saying just slightly, but um, you do hear them saying, uh, "We should hurry up. We should pick up the camp as soon as the husk is ready. Let's just." Move. Let's just hurry up the process. As soon as okay. the the husk. husk husk is ready, and they have, um, they have this this the voice that is this guarding it, and like uh, a pyramid. 
Yeah, and looking looking around, yeah, you take a bit of a surveillance around, and um, you do spot that um, by uh, like patrolling the sides um, of this clearing, uh, there are two dragonborns, and the one it's standing next to a tent, which uh, again uh, with your perception check you would have seen that there are two figures inside. You don't make too much detail of them as they are covered and you just peek a little bit between the curtain so to say but you do see two figures that seem to be tied and uh, there is a dragon boy standing by that camp by that by that uh, tent and um, somewhere in between two of them there is this um, very strange uh, uh, triangular sarcophagus of sorts um, that um, even the small light from uh, the moon uh, gives it this metallic shine to it that uh, almost um, sort of changes color depending on how you look at it and uh, that sort of pearlescent or iridescent, iridescent uh, light reflection and um, yeah it has these almost tiny gaps within it that have a uh, light bluish flow energies around it so to say and uh, around that there are uh, two individuals that um, um, keep guard at it one of them actually inspecting it like holding a hand to it kind of trying to get the feel of it so to say and the other one just keeping guard over there so you do spot this you are quite stealthy nobody noticed you so you can <clears throat> now come back and relate this I come back Natural as, 20. As gentle as a breeze, and I whisper to you guys <laughs> all this information in a hushed voice. Why not? Why didn't you just ask? ask We've what? seen the camp before. Um, why? Um, maybe we should press on. Well, it's not good to run there and surprise them because they are. They tied the mother, the, they tied the, uh, my sister, they can tie us, they can tie everyone. They have very sharp teeth. We should approach gently. Uh, oh. Blend into nature. We're also more than them. The stronger in the numbers of the wind. You know, oh, the I think there's no element of surprise since they've already spotted us and they're all agitated. Maybe we can cause a distraction half of us so that we get their attention and the other go and get the hostages and Then we split up and have a meeting point. I don't mean to interrupt, but I have this Very nice ability that makes me invisible and I can go release the Prisoner, your sister. It's, yes, it's sister Leandra Would that help? Can well, we... uh, uh, how would they get out without being spotted if the Dragonborn do, don't have any distraction? No, I go with your plan. The distraction oh. and the invisibility. We did quad. exactly that. And? Child. But, but then you just made up the big campfire and we decided to run towards you. I ran through the forest. He went to inspect the tent and to free my sister. But What happened? Work. Did you fail? No, it, it was you who made the campfire. Shush, you're rude. I'm not rude. What? You made the campfire over there. So uh, when we when we saw that, mm. we, we thought that maybe there were more dragonborn that way. Yes, they are not very distractive. Mm. They uh, they uh, went back to the tent very fast. How about you go invisible? You take a knife, enter the tent, cut the cloth. That the tent is made of. Fiddle. And in and out. Are they in a, in a tent or in a cage? Describe how it looks, Chris. You, uh, you saw them just not in a cage, just in a tent but tied down. Yeah. Mm. So maybe some of us, like, like your invisibility, would prove very useful. Uh, well, you could go there and free them while the rest of us conduct an attack from one side and then we prepare to retreat. I can make a distraction. I can take one will and I can make like the howling noises so they think they are attacked. Right. And 
I will howl while I go at them. Right. I can come with you. Right, so, so oh, who's the distraction them. team? The two of you. And who else? I can try I to can talk to them. I Maybe well, they're I friendly, be... actually. Oh. Would they have the sarcophagus of death? I don't um, think that someone who ties up a priestess of Toko is somebody who's friend. I'm not the one who judge what somebody likes. And uh, don't underestimate his talking. It kills you. But slowly. You kill with your words. No, I just with know. time. <laughs> time is something we don't I have. I, I always have time. I can see that happening, yes. I can feel the vibe. <laughs> but not from, for you. Definitely not. No, but I can see the potential here. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh. So, Draven, what do you think? think? So, two teams. One distracts the Dragonborn, but not in a way that they will flee. And the other goes stealthily inside the camp, finds the tent with a knife, Cuts them free, cuts the cloth that the camp, the tent is made of, and flees while we distract the. This is the accident. Let's proceed. Do I want to be the sacrifice. Where do I go? Do you have a what survival complex? Um, come with what, survival is, complex? what is something complex? It's um, uh, it's what we're doing right now. But you can um, go beside. But okay, I will. I have a question. Do any of you guys know how to turn invisible to join me in this stealthy team? Because you can be a team with one person. Good idea. Okay. Yep. Oh, the little ones. Yay! He rubs uh, his uh, power mace that uh, Mr... It's a casting stuff. Yes, a casting stuff. Stick. Stick. We can also... Sticky stuff. This is Kala speaking. We need to move these. I don't think the minis are seen at the camera. I don't we'll know. Don't move them backwards. Uh, no, no, no. The, the trees. Whose oh, hand is that? The trees. I'm not sure if I. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. I need yeah, the dragon dragon. As you can see, we have a very big table. Uh, Designed oh. by. Designed by Carla. Karina. Fuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, counted number one. There will be a jar of... One level of exhaustion. <laughs> one level of exhaustion. <laughs> there will be a jar of making this mistake. So Karina designed this beautiful table. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Karina. Oh. Yay, thank you, Karina. <laughs> um. All right, we carried it. So. <laughs> we were just the carry. Yeah. So, so, we yeah. were the muscle. Let's split into two teams. <gasps> okay. So the plan. Who are you is talking to for a moment? For you were you were looking like right there. <laughs> what? I'm speaking with all of you, the friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the sisters and brothers and friends. Yeah. If I got this right, yeah. you both will go invisible, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, try to approach the tent to rescue the guys. Yes. Um, how's with the distraction? Who's going to do what? Um. I can. Uh, well, I I can ask. Wind will against the current to have one growl from a distance, and then when they come, I push the air on them. And as soon as that happens, I rush towards them um, together with Sano. So again, That's there are there are two that are uh, patrolling on the sides, which it's not that far from the main camp. It's probably like twenty feet or something from the main camp. And then uh, in there, there are three tents, and one um, of them, with which the prisoners are, it's uh, one guard that stands there. And um, there are two more others by the um, weird triangular metallic sarcophagus. Oh, I think the one that's standing guard in front of the tent needs to be very hev heavily destructed. When we first tried it, it didn't move. It needs to be attacked. He needs to run away towards the distraction. Wouldn't it be easier to send the herd? Like, kill the two patrolling ones? Oh, how far are they? They look kind of tough. Oh, um, as I said, they're going like uh, one that's on one opposite and one that's on the other, and they're just like synchronous sort of 
doing rounds. If but you need to, to attack the one that's guarding the tent, so we don't get spotted. If you can destroy the one, I can take your deal. Oh, I'm gonna go to so the I'm back of the tent, cutting with a knife, okay. and with then extracting the hostages together with Sippy. The, the rest of you need to... Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. I have distracted. <laughs> I'm in the safe team. Yeah. <laughs> Is there very many animals around? <laughs> Very many animals. Um, like probably uh, the same species, but, but a bunch. I'm looking for I a herd. A herd. Yeah, a it depends. A <laughs> murder of, of crows. crows. <laughs> is there a murder of crows? There is no murder of crows, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Just the usual critter here and there. Like probably you spot a small fox somewhere in the distance. Not sure. Then. Um, there is also a mouse, but just a fox and a mouse. That's. I mean, okay. there would be others, but you need to go probably even further. Okay. Uh, a while the uh, plan, I'm going to sit down with my dove uh, circlet, well, okay. brush, and I'm going to speak with Toko to allow me to talk to the fox. Okay, to the fox. Uh, Okay, uh, this takes 10 minutes, but yes. you're discussing the over there your plans yes. and, uh, and as soon as you do that, like there are, um, there's a, as you kneel there and do the prayers, um, at some point slowly, like a few um, flowers also, tiny flowers blossom around you and um, then you start uh, talking and uh, you the rest uh, hear just uh, some sort of a squeaky sort of noises of uh, I don't know how foxes talk. <laughs> I'm just it's just a fox. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, what, that's what you hear. <laughs> yeah. Um what you, <laughs> you know, um what do you say to it? Because at this point, you know, it's just Curious, and it looks in the direction, like sort of towards you, towards uh, the camp, towards the mouse. Yes, mainly towards, towards the, the mouse. <laughs> she looks mainly towards the mouse. Yeah. <coughs> well, it's nature's way. Um, I am here uh, to help uh, the mother of all being, the the sister of uh, the mother of all beings of Toko, and if you have uh, a spare time during your very busy evening to help us. And at some point, at some point, it stops your... Shh! You're distracting my prey. Wait, wait, wait. Food wait. is something that I... Wait. Then she tries going for, for the bows. I'm <laughs> going to try to throw her some uh, without some uh, rations. You're hitting her before she reaches the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> throw the rations at it. Focus, <laughs> fox, focus. <laughs> and then at this point yeah. you throw it, 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 puts, it puts the mouse uh, uh, like surprised as such and it scuttles away the mouse and the, the, the fox is like, no, I almost hit it. <sighs> Oh, who are you? You said something about someone, I don't know. You scared my prey. Eat first. Yes. And I explain. I am here on behalf of Mother Toko to, feel, yes, yes. to free her yes. priestess. And some very e evil, uh, dragon looking creatures have captured her. Okay. And we know, need all the help we can get. We have mm -hmm. the wind here on our side. Mm -hmm. And very brave adventurers. Yes, then, yes. So you, you're going to come with us? What? To do a distraction? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why would I do that? Because Mother Toko protects you and all creatures and all beings that are under the sun, mm. in the skies. And I give you more food. <laughs> um, this would be persuasion check. What's advantage? No animal handling. Uh, animal, 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 yeah, animal. but the thing is, you're talking to it. To it, I would say animal handling, actually. Sure. Well, it's the same. <laughs> it's the s exactly the same. That's a nineteen. Ooh. Another nineteen. Oh. Right. For either uh, uh, persuasion or animal handling. Yeah. 
Everything is plus four. Looks at you for a second. There is this intense uh, eye, eye staring between you two. And mm. okay, two more pieces of that. Thank you, Trip. And I'll help you. And your mother. Who she I look. Uh, <laughs> Did you try telling the fox about Krepak? <laughs> yeah, I tell her everything you want if you give me some food, please. I am running out of resources. Don't take any form of the talk. Right then, and I, I give you. Uh, I, I just uh, okay. Open up my uh, inventory. How many rations do you want to take? Like Goba is Two. very, very willing to give you. Two. Two. Okay. Sure. And um, then the, the fox uh, is there. Uh, all right. What do you need? We speak to the group because we act like brothers and sisters first, and then I tell you what to do. Okay. Then it goes by a tree and you speaks from there. I turn around. So what would we, what do we do? Did the fox accepts Krepok in its life. She said that she already knew about it. And I right. told her earlier. <laughs> uh, right. Well, carry on then. <laughs> um, am I going to send uh, Wendwell to grow them first, and then I bend them with the wind? Wait, shouldn't we be already invisible? Yes. That's what you do. The thing is, so as I said, yeah, you turn invisible, but I'll say, I'll consider that when it. when when you go. Uh, the thing is, it would take some time. With uh, you'd need to kind of recast it. Yeah, it's an action. Yeah, but uh, you know, because you were invisible before. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so, so no, I, I was assuming that you two would go invisible and do the thing. I was asking here for the distraction. If you guys uh, could you... you give me a bird's eye view of the camp, like how uh, are the tents? <sighs> sure. We can't have the invisible no, discussion after the planning. Uh, how how large? Uh, you mean? Or, uh, yeah. How I mean, are the tents arranged? Where are the soldiers? Well, as I said, there are three tents, mainly like two quite next to each other and one a bit more separate. Uh, the one more separate is where the hostages are being kept. And um, they are around, let's say, 20, uh, 15 by 15 feet each tent. They are quite larger tents. Um, and um, yeah, as I said, the two patrolling guards wants them to buy the prisoner's tent. And How the, far are the patrolling guards from the tents? Like 20, 20 feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I can try to guys. kill one of the patrolling guards in one fell swoop, but we need the other one dead too, so... Okay. Do if, you... if you know you can kill him at once, like, no... Like, hit him and he's dead, we'll do that. If not, no. we'll come no. with another plan. Do you think we you can kill him in one hit? They look very mighty tough. I think I can. Yeah, do like mo one um, of them. Some of them even wear heavy armor on them, and they carry um, all sorts of weapons: long swords, uh, some cr heavy crossbows, and uh, with a bit of light. They're, they're pretty well liquid, so to say. I can be the lying on a lucky strike. It, it wouldn't on a lucky hit. It wouldn't. Yeah. You got nervous over there? Yeah, a bit. Okay. You won't meet Krepak early. Because that's where you're going. <laughs> Let's try to do the distraction first. And what do you want the fox to do? Follow the wolf. And how would it like it? Maybe they are attacked by savage animals. And then we pin them down and you strike them to the dead. How about you make the fox go to the inner space? part of the camp and distract the guards that's at the tent. Like yeah. pee on him. Or bite its ankle. Or both. <laughs> pee, or pee on it while it's biting its ankle. It's gonna distract the guard. <laughs> Nobody sit with pee on their sockets to guard. <laughs> when a fox munches your ankle. So, uh, I okay, I turn towards the fox. You have to pee 
What do they she, she has to pee on? You have to bite and pee on the ankle. Of oh, the same time. Possible. Oh, of the god. Of the that god. one right Wait, there. Much. Listen, bite I don't finger. want to endanger Stoko's creatures, so maybe find something that is uh, not going to make her go kill. No. How about it makes a show for the god? It goes out in front of it and starts chasing its own tail. The god is gonna look that way, we're gonna take the hostages and then we poop in this day's, day's tent. As we go, oh. get on. It can oh, make yeah. big eyes at it. And it tend to want to be pet. Can I give guidance to an animal? <laughs> um, of course, sure. Okay. But that's uh, for one minute though. Okay. Um, um, you tell to the fox will, to bite. Yes, to and no, I will tell. I will tell the fox to uh, do the chasing of the tail thing and be cute Just in front of the guards. Things. Oh, and be loud, kind and, of. And be loud. Um, okay. It's very. It's a lot of information for a little <laughs> fox. You need to choose one thing. Oh, Make what you tell it to go yap 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 in front of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, choose the. Go and attract an owner with your cuteness. With my cuteness? No, the fox's cuteness. <laughs> I... Do you want me to send a wind well? I think that, that they can go, both go together very... Is because that it's, wolf? You know, is is no. an animal that exists here is not something that uh, will make it's them wind. more... Sorry. So, uh, fox goes with the wind? Yes. Okay. To distract you. how? Yes. By, uh, I'm, going by being her, I'm going to tell the fox, you go with the wind, on the wings of the wind. Together, you can help us get our priestess back. It's a very important job that you're doing for Toko, and I'm going to pet her and give her guidance. So basically, a fox uh, will ride the wind wolf. Uh, the there's a thing, like the fox says, Go with the wind. What, what are you saying, lady? What? Here is wind. Uh, wind is the big wolf with the white mane of hair with uh, blue undertones and one <laughs> closed eye. And um, my character, Whisper, will start whispering something to him. It doesn't take long, but um, they explain the plan to them. And the wolf with its <laughs> one eye closed, like he looks like he's <laughs> winking, goes very gentle gestures towards the fox to follow him them sorry yeah and they approach and they approach in front of the cards okay. um well we need to be invisible and uh, um. uh gobo does like this flash on his uh staff and then starts rubbing himself out of uh <laughs> <laughs> of sight <laughs> i cast invisibility so cool CP will he take, deletes himself will, from the sea. <laughs> CP will take her shutter lantern from her tie, uh, from her waist, that's that's um, hanged on her waist, and open it. And you see for a brief, short second, like this green flash of light, and she goes invisible. Nice. Le poof. Le poof. <laughs> All right. So I will say a roll. Um, a, uh, no, it's kind of no, no. It would I be kind of like an uh, <laughs> persuasion from Worldwind, Worldwind. <laughs> and with advantage, I'll say because the fox helps over there the as well. Helps. And also, I can. What does the fox say? I can. Wolf, <laughs> <laughs> fox say, "Hey, Mr. Guard, look at me! Look at me! <laughs> look at me!" What does the fox? She goes a bit more uh, sassy around there and just wishes her tail. I can add my proficiency bonus to any ability check or saving throw. Yes. And you told me to roll what? Persuasion. <laughs> uh, they don't have persuasion, so it's... It's a plus uh, charisma. Like, charisma. it's just a charisma check. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm ro rolling the wind girl die. Um, oh, charisma? Okay, and yeah, with advantage. My, bo my bonus. Oh, okay, so it's two dice. Advantage means with two dice. Yes. Uh, it's 13. And, and Plus zero, plus my proficiency bonus, which is a two, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I rolled pretty high, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but uh, the difference is not that bad. It just looks like uh, towards in that area and pulls out uh, a crossbow. 
and uh, shoots, but not at it, at like almost a warning shot to scare it away uh, at the feet. Uh, when we were trying to make the big eye, <laughs> <laughs> and then chase its tail. So it approaches further. Okay, because uh, uh, at that point, uh, I guess the, um, the um, Dragonborn will uh, put away his... Uh, his crossbow and pull out a long sword and um, in, for those who know Draconic you hear stay away beast now I'll slay you and they are very rude can we kill them? um sure let me do this very neat thing first <laughs> and uh, they will rise one hand in the air and summon the wind and cast and tangle, so there will be strong wind spinning them down in a 20 foot square. Okay, uh, well, at this point, I'll say, uh, everybody roll initiatives, please. Ah, yes. oh, oh, no. We're, we're oh. combating, I didn't really expect it's, uh, it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it. I'm I mean, going to call the oh, fox no. towards me oh, and no. use it as my companion <laughs> in this battle. Because why not? This is a 13 or an 18? Fuck, I need to have. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, 18. No. Okay, okay. Plus. Uh, and I think they go. This is on. No, Moriel, please. It's online. I'm very sorry. Sorry. No, I wrote. By the way, I didn't know I wrote with both dice. What did you roll with both dice? I wrote. Right. So let me see here. I'm afraid. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to start this. <laughs> well, you chose the wrong Who has group. the petrified spell? No one. Allies. <laughs> Women. You need to have fear and then petrify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that's sexist. But, but I don't no, want to think that for the time. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have poor initiative. So, uh, above 20. Anyone? <laughs> 21. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, I forgot. We have a high roller. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, I. Yes, we we it's fine. rolling. We hate it. <laughs> Next, um, between 15 and 20. And also, it's when we're I have after a, me. Yeah, 16. I have a 15. 16. So, Raven and Goba. Uh, okay, next, 10 uh, to 15. No, no, I have what? 11. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Let me just, uh, I, I was trying to just add a battle music in here. Let me see if it works. Sort of works. But where are you guys? Okay. So, how much CP? Sorry. That doesn't mean 11. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, 5, 10. 7. 7 children. 5. I have also five. Hi! Rollies! Rollies! No, it's it depends on who decks. has the dex. What's the dex modifier? Uh, plus two. Plus two. Plus I, three. I, oh, okay. you, you win. That's I a dexterous lost! Turtle. Yay! <laughs> no, it's a dexterous turtle! Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Right? What about it's you? A ninja. It's a ninja. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I like pizza. So he has seven. He's yes. before, yes. Yeah, you're before, but they were tied, yeah. You did not uh, So. No, uh, I, I was just Arbor. in the process of, uh, yes, writing it. And then, then I got expected that we have five. Seven, eleven. Okay, so you start casting uh, this. <laughs> and is it, does it count as a surprise, or is it the first? Yeah, surprise from you. So it's this, and then it's something else? <coughs> yes. Okay, so I, as a surprise, they cast, I cast Entangle. Strong winds coming from above and pinning um, the most yeah. guards that I can fit in a 20 foot square, starting it, from a point. It of would view. probably be just one of them, the one guarding uh, the, tent. the tent. Okay. But I need I need to roll a what? Uh, and uh, they have to. Uh, it's a strength check against okay. my spell DC. Yeah. So it's a strength which check. Which is 15. And. Yeah, that's a 90. Okay. Um, but the area becomes uh, uh, Have, uh, not, difficult, uh, difficult, terrain. difficult terrain. Let me double check if yeah. I remember it right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So, um, 
with that, like uh, it feels like the wind picking up. And uh, um, the thing is, I'm guessing it has uh, verbal components, right? So um, um, your yeah. um, your cover would be blown away. And um, immediately after that, like he feels this these winds like blowing into his uh, face almost, and like trying to restrain around him. But uh, he snaps out of it, and again, and, and Raconic uh, shouts to the rest uh, something along the lines of, uh, Watch out, I think we have uh, intruders around the camp. Be on your guard! The rest of you, is, the thing is, are still stealthily. So, if you wish to do something now, it's your turn. We start with Whiskey again. This <laughs> <laughs> Can I just interrupt him? We he also said say that uh, if we run away, he's gonna say, must have been the wind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. The sorry, wind. sorry. I have a question. <laughs> if I want to keep the fox around, does it go into the initiative role? Or does it but the act, like the fox would act on its own. Like, okay, so I... It's not your pet person. So the only... Fake, familiar. So the only thing I can do is just uh, tell her on my round. Probably, what yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll allow you to say something. Okay. To it, but so, depends okay. again on it if it does it or not. Or okay, dogs. But uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we'll start to make a swirl of wisps of air around this uh, sort of uh, uh, quarter stuff that looks like a stick, very much a stick that they um, pull from a tree and. It starts to glow on this faint blue coloration and uh, they ready it in case anyone hits wind wheel against the current and wind wheel will go and do and will pull back 20 feet and will do um, a charge so they will try to slam into the dragon okay you also have to make a, a dragon board into the dragon board. Thank God yeah. we're not fighting the dragon. Uh, they have to make a DC uh, of 15, a, a, a strength DC. Uh, again, it's a dirty 20. It's fine. Oh so my. they don't uh, get thrown, but they will uh, launch in a maul attack. So. Okay. And they try to maul their uh, forearm. So it's a uh, 10 to hit them. I assume it misses. Uh, it misses. Oh, there's shit. <laughs> uh, we ain't fading it anymore. All right, and um, so that was uh, whirlwind. But uh, you whisper. Uh, I ready an action okay. to hit with the quarter staff in case the uh, whisper in the, the current gets hit. With the but you need to come close by. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. At that point, like uh, your approach should definitely shifts its attention towards you like again being uh, as well confused of what is this creature what what am i facing uh, and such but uh, next we have um Flip. raven so how far am i from the camp or from uh, the or from whirlwind 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 you would be about 30 feet okay so as a bonus action i'll cast uh, shield of faith on him that uh, will be plus two ac okay whirlwind whirlwind Okay. And from action, I will cast Guiding Bolt at the Dragonborn that's guiding, uh, guarding the... Enemies. All right. It's Sorry, you cannot do that. You're using two spells in one turn, even though it's, it's bonus and main. Uh, but you can do that. Depends. Uh, is that a cantrip? That, that's that's right. I, oh, right, right. It's right. I'm oh. Right, right, right. For a second. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Sacred yeah, Flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mind was Sacred Flame. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Cantrip, that's no, Sacred that, Flame is yeah, possible. But, uh, then... I'll go next to Whisper and I'll cast Guidance. As a sure. To, to me, to yes. Whisper. Okay. Cool. And that is your turn. I um, How do you cast Guidance on Whisper? Next, yeah, just we have, check. Next, we have Goma. Okay. Goma! Um, I, I, I will, uh, uh, like, yell out in a slightly whispery tone. CP, I will go and cut up the tent. You cut up the hostages and get them out. And I will run to to the tent and um, get my dagger and uh, make a, 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 a hole. Uh, I, I will a cut up the tent. Sure. A slit. Yes, I mean, that's it. Uh, 
quite easy to do. It's that's my action, though. Yeah, that would be your action to just push up okay. and, and then, like a very commando style, I, I hold it open for the <laughs> next person to, to go inside. Yeah. Okay. Quickly, go by can, I, can I say something to the hostages inside? The thing is, uh, you are quite after him. It's, uh, yeah. But um, to the hostages, yes, first thing you notice as you uh, draw this is that, um, yeah, what you spot inside are two figures. One of them is uh, a male uh, dwarf that uh, seems to have some sort of a uh, heavy like chain mail armor uh, that um, also has a few motifs of some sort of deity that uh, you've probably seen being around Gazia and such. It's the uh, big sort of Thor Hebert looking uh, that it's uh, represented to one of the gods. Not sure if you'd be interested in which or what, <laughs> but yeah, probably not. But you've seen it around, um, and uh, yeah, as well, gagged and uh, tied. And uh, next to it, the female figure seems to be a um, wood elven figure that uh, is um, again wears some sort of leathery armors and uh, again gagged and bound. But they both, as soon as this ties, have their uh, eyes wide open. Does she fit the description for uh, what was her name? Leandra. Leandra. But he should know Sister Leandra, so. Yeah, no, uh, no. Sister Leandra is a human. And uh, again, the outfit she's wearing, it's it's uh, more uh, this, uh, how would I say, a leathery, brown leathery outfit with some uh, green uh, motifs and such around uh, the way, uh, bra bracelets, bracelets. And, and such. And uh, along the pauldrons. Is this such. two person only? Only these two yeah. people inside the. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I, I also um, want to tell them as I open the, the, the slit. Boy, the, the, the warriors of Krepar has, has come to your location to save you. Shut up and cooperate. <laughs> they are, they're, yeah, they're. I, I know, I know. That was <laughs> but, a creepy at all. <laughs> next, uh, we do have uh, you, CP. CP. We'll take out her invisible dagger. <laughs> She's only invisible. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, go straight to the dwarf, whisper in his ear. We're yes. going to save you. Uh, please stand still while I'm trying to cut you loose. No, please stand still while I'm trying to cut you loose. Um, and try to cut his uh, bandage. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, like uh, how invisible, it's not greater invisibility, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, I get visible as well. Hmm? I get oh, visible yeah, true, as well true. because I can't. I just realized after using yeah. an action and doing something. It's an attack. Uh, it's well, it's well, an well, attack, well. yeah. But yeah. also an action interacting with the physical world and the, such. The, a, a simple action would not cancel invisibility. An attack, an attack however, would. would. But cutting up a it's, it's, it's attacking an object. It's basically. a tentative attack. A tentative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You didn't, you didn't tell the people. Oh no! no. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so, uh, so doesn't matter. Yeah, you start I, cutting. I cut... So the dwarf, you said. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. cutting and maybe do I get a free interaction just uh, with an object just uh, mm. removing his bondage around his eyes, mm. like a little yeah, bit, so mm. he can see a bit. Yeah, of so course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, everything. so I'm gonna and do this. And okay. As a bonus action, I will cast Mage Hand to go next to the Elven figure. Okay, but that. that's another action. Bonus it's something uh, to, to Mage Hand is not a bonus action. Oh no! Yeah, it's a, an action. Okay. Sorry. Um. So yeah, so the, the, the dwarf that. quickly just says, uh, "Oh, thanks, lady." Um, where am I? What's happening? You're in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the conversation. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll continue. No, no, sure. next turn. He's uh, attentive for him. Mm. But uh, not, next we have uh, Sildred. No! Yes. Stop! Ah, <laughs> Sildred. <sighs> well, um. What? He did say he would uh, uh, go over and charge. Uh, yes. So, but on, uh, on which one? On the guard that. Uh, so, uh, there's the guard that is pinned down. That's the guard um, not pinned down. It's surrounded by uh, a Whisper and Whirlwind. And, uh, well, kind of uh, the Draven is next to it as well. And. Uh, which is by the, the tent. And. Uh, and uh, who's the closest enemy 
to that gun? The closest one would be probably one of the... Um, actually, kind of, yeah, probably would be the one uh, surrounding the area. Um, that he would be around 20, 30 feet or oh, so. Okay. so. From yes. where the... I would attack the one that is uh, uh, surrounded. The one okay. that is affected by this one. Okay, then uh, charge towards it and um, you would, because you'd be 30 feet away or such, so you would get uh, your movement to do that. So roll attack. So just uh, pounce at him with the uh, with, uh, the gate sword. And uh, no, the room. You would probably gain advantage from flanking and such, so. Ooh. Yeah, flanking with wind will. Um, oh yeah, because one wind world has uh, pack tactics, right? It's a good thing you have advantage. <laughs> no, they thing. don't, but oh. they are flanking. So, <laughs> that's a uh, 17 to hit. 17 uh, yes. hits. Ooh. All the damage. All the hits. 20, 20. 20. Okay. And that's uh, uh, Nilipa. Okay. Slashing damage. Very good, very good. As uh, again, um, this guard is overwhelmed as this, this rush of individuals discharged towards him. He gets distracted by the whirlwind, by uh, wind, uh, <laughs> wind world. <laughs> wind world. And uh, gets distracted by uh, Whisper and the rest. Uh, and uh, although it does see you uh, come in, uh, all of you together, like, kind of distract him, and you manage to uh, get the surprise on him and uh, slash him quite decently. Good. He's right. um, so, Flicks. next we yeah. have uh, Xylo. Hi. <coughs> Sorry, hi. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay, so I am going to, because it's the, the only one that I see is the one that everybody is attacking. Right. Uh, you would you would see the other targets as well because at this point like after this commotion like uh, everybody around uh, the patrolling uh, uh, dragon folk all all take out their weapons and uh, they start looking in the direction of the commotion and uh, so okay. they've kind of been alerted. All right, so they've been alerted. But is uh, any one of them like let's say ninety feet away from me? Mm, yes, I think pretty much everyone. Okay. Mm, probably um, not those standing by the sarcophagi. All right. Uh, well, I would take the one who seems to uh, be coming at us the fastest. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to bonus action hex. Okay. So a different target other than the one that's yes. being. Okay. 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 Got you. Okay, I, uh, that I think just takes effect, right? Without yeah, any yeah, and so, the ability that uh, yeah. he's gonna have disadvantage on, on ability checks, it's uh, going to be. Pretty, doesn't matter. Dexterity, let's say this. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to take my hands, my very long hands, and they kind of uh, start looking very barky from that color that was before they become a bit tainted like uh, the color of uh, a rotten tree and that uh, just starts running down my hands kind of as if it, it would engulf me and out of it I'm going to uh, burst a uh, very green dirty weird uh, light of Eldritch Blast. Oh nice. And I'm going to roll for that right? Yep. Also, uh, I'm going to do the extra, well, if if I'm going to hit it, never <laughs> mind, it's an um, 12. It's that a, was a 12. <laughs> yes, I know. No, <laughs> and it unfortunately, doesn't... like, uh, <laughs> he takes, takes this uh, <laughs> effect of the hex and uh, yeah, he feels uh, like his legs getting weaker and uh, like while he's uh, distracted by that like he does a, a gesture that puts you off track and the blast just uh, flies over and now he's uh, looking in your direction like uh, you know ready to come at you come at you 
And next Shelly. Yes. I've rolled low on the dragon boss. The last <laughs> yeah, <I'm actually laughs> yeah, I know. How there. many how many guards uh, do do I see? It? Um, the same, like the, the closest ones would be like looking straight in, in there. We would see um, one by the tent, which that's the, already been attacked flat. by. Yeah, okay. and uh, then there is um, one closer a bit to you, which is uh, the one um, that uh, Xylo attacked, and then there is another one who's pretty close as well. Okay, uh, Shelly doesn't uh, usually choose violence. Uh, so I'm gonna just try to get closer to the group and hug them. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I am gonna slowly reach for my axe. That's definitely oh, yeah, an that's action. Definitely <laughs> slow. Yeah, uh, but but I, I want to get closer to the to the action still. Okay, and okay. Guys, we did not try to talk to them first. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that was a good idea. So yeah, that's all my... I am right. ready in action. This and... Case. Yeah, so you're ready in action, because... Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. It's gonna be a while until I reach all them, right. it's fine. So, on the Dragonborn's turn, first, the one that uh, is... Uh, Wasn't this a surprise round? round? Uh, it was surprise round, only the oh, thing oh, winged it. Uh, with the, sorry. <laughs> I wanted so. to name you whiskey, but you just didn't go for it. Yeah. I'm so um, that yeah, that was the surprise one. Just what the whisper did, and um, on their turn. So basically, the first one uh, will. Um, what does it? I think it has multi attack, right? Yeah. Um, it will take um, two long sword attacks. Uh, one towards uh, Sildren, and. Um, one towards, ooh, let's see. Yeah. Then it activates yeah, my yeah. reaction. So okay. you do that. So and I, let's see. I go first with the reaction. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as uh, Whisper is looking for the intent and the drag and the dragons will be behavior, uh, they see that they are going to attack her companion, their companion, and. They raise the porter staff and punch them with an ease, you know, <laughs> with an ease that nice that somehow <laughs> hints that the it's right? it's the, the <laughs> imbued with the magical force of the air. Mm, uh, mm. So it's a. Uh, I'm not rolling here anymore. I'm gonna work. I don't know what you're doing. Now. It's a twelve plus. Don't forget to have guidance. Uh, ah, and also I, I have just, guidance. Does not apply 19. to no, attacks. Nineteen hits. Oh. hits. Just a big Yay! Attacks. Uh, let's see. The power of Shilele. Uh, seven. Seven. And it's magical. Okay. Uh, do you also have a Shilele? Is the sticky. So. The sticky it's table. getting to look a bit bruised, but still standing there strong. No. And, um, no. yeah, so two attacks one towards um, it's you and one towards you. Okay. Uh, towards your children. It's a uh, pa, 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 17 to hit. Eight. Okay, that is. Oh, that's perfect. I'm sorry. That's an uh, 8 points of uh, <laughs> slashing damage. Stinks. And towards, uh, towards whirlwind. Whirlwind, it's whirlwind. a mouthful. Whirlwind. whirlwind. It's a uh, also, 10 to hit. It's a 17 now. Also, you have okay. plus 2 from. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, not that much. So, no, no win. But the other one uh, it will charge towards you and take two. Towards me? Yes. Oh. It take two longsword attacks. Is he that close to me? Yeah, he'd be like oh, okay. 30 feet. Okay. First one, it's a 18 to hit. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you also then need to roll me something. Something, something. And the constitution saving throw for Hex. Uh, yes, so it's a 4 After. total damage. Okay. And uh, unless, unless you want it like, to roll. But no, actually you need to roll. I have to roll yes. for concentration. Co for concentration, yes, and for the other thing. 
And for the other fuck, yes. Fuck yes. The other fuck, fuck yes. yes. The other fuck. So much fucking. Yeah. Oh. Yes. That's the constitution, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a... Uh, so this I rolled for the concentration, which is 11. Yeah, that's cool. You maintain hex. Yes. And now I roll for the other thing, which I'm not going to save it. What's... Uh, it's uh, the, the DC is uh, 15, but I actually do... Um, it's a 3 plus... Uh, oh, it's a 3 plus something. Yeah, uh, 6. Okay. Well... <laughs> I asked you if you are going to do this today, and I fuck. Um, yeah, um, yeah. You mean do I do I say it now or on my round? On my round, yeah. Uh, yes. We'll okay. Cool. Okay. No. Um. Yep. All right. And uh, the second the second attack. Oh fuck that shit. Oh, almost a critical, but no, it's oh, a nineteen fuck. plus stuff. <laughs> no, it doesn't hit. But <laughs> it's a uh, six points. And the other one, it's just uh, used its dash now to get closer to you, Sildren. But it's now uh, right next to that. And for those of you that um, do hear uh, and understand Draconic, um, okay, only you, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then you would understand um, that uh, those by the sarcophagi, they seem to um, uh, have a quarrel of sorts, and uh, one of them saying that, uh, Open, release the husk now. We need it for to, to kill them all and bury the evidences we have here. Uh, then there is the other one. But the process is not ready. We shouldn't do it now, or else you will face the wrath of Donar and the, uh, the Scarlet uh, Oppressor. And, what? Um, what? The Scarlet that, that, that is what you... Uh, what? <laughs> but here's the thing. Excuse so, me, but um, then is it the same? <laughs> sorry. I am, I am. Who said some things? Uh, here's the, so, uh, as as they do that, so on their, on their actions, so to say, uh, you see them like one of them like almost putting a hand onto the um, sarcophagi and it uh, shines for a second before it opens releasing this uh, very bluish almost uh, smoke from it and uh, just barely emerging from it as the smoke dissipates you see falling down in front almost <laughs> so to say terminator style as it rises up this uh, how should i say a very strange uh, figure that wears a somewhat what was was a crown of flowers but and her face it's almost no. half destroyed no. the other one revealing oh, only no. a skull that is metallic in nature terminator style and with the ragged tattered clothing it's 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 wrapped and what? destroyed and uh, <laughs> beneath it you see as there is this almost <laughs> there is this almost liquid metal that starts and processing her entire body transforming her mutating her and um, as um, she rests there, almost ready to awaken. Uh, you, the dragonborn, just almost obeys command, saying, "Kill everyone." And at that point, like almost this uh, half-deformed, destroyed figure of what oh, was once yeah. a priestess of Thoko rises what? with yeah. red flashes in her eyes. What? And this is where we'll end tonight. No! 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 <laughs> that was bad. Bad comment. Can I put oh, that aside? Can I put that aside? What's wrong yeah. with you? But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I. This was so nice. Why would we have it? Yeah, I mean. I do have a special mini coming for the next second answer. Oh my god! Please! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Yeah, thanks for yeah. killing my friend. I had one friend. <laughs> now you have one friend. What am I then? Now I'm looking around. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, 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 um,
Ok. Donor in the Scarlet Oppressor. Oppressor. Is it the same donor we are both donor. thinking of? Mm, yeah. 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 We love you, buddy, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh. uh, yeah. Love looks like uh, the dice have been cast for now yeah and from the birthplace of dracula we thank you very much for watching we wish you a good night and don't let the vampires the vampires fight the vampires fight the vampires we love you very much and that's all she wrote <laughs> 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 <laughs>